<laughs> the Opie and Anthony radio show. Yeah, but you pumped it up a little bit. <laughs> at Opie, at Opie Radio and at Anthony Cumia. That's how you right. have to talk now with that at sign. Yep. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. What's up, at? They're all clapping. Big Mama Prods. Big Mama Prods. <laughs> right. They're all clapping, so I guess something could happen. What happened? We just blew up the moon and we're Where's clapping. Where's the cause kaboom? We're... <laughs> There's supposed to be a moon shattering kaboom. <laughs> I don't know if we should be fucking with the moon. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Do, we, do we have enough knowledge? No, nope. be fucking with the moon. We don't have enough knowledge to fucking make the wheel. <laughs> we should have just left that alone too. These fucking scientists are just trying to prove there's no god. That's all <laughs> yeah. they're doing. We they're are just trying to god. There's a scientific reason for everything. We're our own god. Yeah. As soon as there's an old white man with a thunderbolt that decides to walk in and talk to everybody, we'll fucking <laughs> but, we're gonna regret it. But this is what I say to the scientists. Yeah. What if God is a scientist? Wow. Think about that one Could when be. you're getting drunk tonight. Think about it. Could be. I, I, okay. I'm thinking about it now. What oh. do you think? Okay. I don't know. And it shuts up all the scientists. <laughs> <laughs> God's a scientist. <laughs> like Dr. Michio Kaku. Kaku. That ghoul. Cool. crashed into the moon, much like in the movie Speed. Where he's got to talk to us like we're retarded people. You know, what was the one he did? Like uh, Pinocchio, the Looking Glass, and Alice yeah. in Wonderland. Is this Asian Alice one? in Wonderland? We love yeah. this fucking guy, uh, Doctor Michio Kaku. Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, on dying? What happens to 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 the body after you die? The soul. Well, I believe your spirit leaves your body, much as if you watched uh, the Disney cartoon <laughs> uh, Alice in Wonderland. Much like she left her own uh, world. To go into the rabbit hole, your body. <laughs> right, I get it. What's uh? Could he you told explain us. like fucking. What's the, what is, the other continuum? one that talks with a piano? <laughs> talks with a piano. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, uh, fucking uh, Hawkins. Yeah, it's Stephen yeah, Hawking. Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Who is smarter than all of them put together? By the way. Yeah, well, he just proven, rolls around. Proven there is a God. He, God's he, like, he, you know what? All right, you you got you escaped me, and you got a lot of knowledge, but I'm going to make it hard as a motherfucker for you to communicate. He explains let everyone space. know what you, you know. Yeah. He, I seen something where he explained space so so well that I understood space. It gave me a a, a whole another concept of what in that uh, space is in that computer voice, dude. No, no, it was oh. <laughs> it was on you know one of the History Channels, oh, okay. but they would not allow him to <laughs> wah, 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 wah. And They would not allow his hey, fucking man. Charlie Brown piano to be playing <laughs> the whole show. I will now explain space. This is what space is. <laughs> <laughs> it is a void and a vacuum. That You're talking way forever. too fast, too, by the way. <laughs> it is a void, a vacuum, that goes on forever, infinite. But it may have bit and turns through wormholes and black holes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> As his head's just laying on a fucking like a uh, rotten grapefruit but he is on a his fucking shoulder. Genius. These people better leave happen? space alone, baby. Mm -hmm. Or they're gonna prove the these dirty Mayans right. <laughs> 2012. These what? Apocalypto motherfuckers. That fucking. You know something? That's such a load of horse shit. Horse shit been to the highest on. degree of horse shit's been going on forever. It's just it a new y so many Y2K, days. right? Yeah, it's a new fucking. Oh God, Stephen Hawking's face. It's just melting. Uh -huh. I am smart. The universe, it would be a great triumph of human reason, but it wouldn't leave much for us to do. <laughs> we need an intellectual challenge. This is a yes or no. <laughs> it would be Thank the God. greatest achievement right of yes science no. since Charlie Rose can't take it no more. No. Yes. <laughs> Thinking about this universe that you think yeah. about, what worries you the most about? The future of the universe. Oh, tree Jesus. I'm not worried about the future of the universe. The universe will continue whatever happens. <laughs> yes. But the future of the human race and of life on Earth is much less certain. Oh, man. We are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. Nice. You have said that humanity's ultimate survival then depends, depends on colonizing the solar system it has taken about four billion years for life on earth to develop to the present stage 
During that period, the main threat has been from collisions with comets every few million years. <laughs> but now the man-made dangers to our survival are much greater and ever increasing. Is he dead? If we remain confined to planet Earth, sooner or later we will destroy oh. ourselves. Here's the next question you should ask. Yeah. Who's the next smartest guy than you, sir? Yeah. And he names his name, and I go, I'm going to interview that motherfucker yeah. if he's not in a wheelchair <laughs> and speaking with a fucking yeah. accordion. I, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> but how, this is on YouTube. The guy is not even moving at no, all. No, no. So how is he answering that? How the fuck is he, he doing that? Is that some editing where Charlie he's Rose asks genius. a question, and then they wait an hour for him to, like... Blink out his answer. What does he use to actually fucking make it? His fingers. Right. His, no, his, no, his fingers his ain't trumpet. moving. Yes, it is moving. No, he's got one eyelid that works. That's about it. And that's he is connected to his fucking voice box. That, that nigga, he invented the universe, man. <laughs> he invented you think he can, the universe. That's God talking through him. You know what? He and he's bitching about like how mankind is going to do this and that and destroy itself. If it wasn't for fucking mankind's technology. You'd be, like, burnt at the stake for well, being some kind of fucking useless... He didn't say... That doesn't mean... Why are you no. going to have to why, why do you yeah. have to be appreciative? Oh, wait a minute. She's in a little skirt. I'm going to have to call that back. Hmm? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Else. Oh! <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah, no. Good for you. Ship sail. Stop. Just stop it. I heard a little bit of that. <laughs> You're funny. tired of beating your balls to death at the, <laughs> of the of the memories. You tired of a smash? You say he needs a new memory. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking. I told like, you I was over there. It's, it's very lonely after a while. Sometimes you just that big you can beautiful only party place so much, right? and then you just want a bitch around that's just looking into like, you. It's just looking like you know, like the, the hair isn't like fakey blondy thing. The little short skirt today. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, she's she's she's, she's she's quietly listening to you from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's yeah. saying she's saying, Anthony, I I she's putting out I think you're right. You. Oh, you think it's signal? Oh uh, yeah, Is you guys the TV talking to me? Oh yeah. Should I put foil on my uh -huh. head? <laughs> you getting that? You getting that little thing where you go? Ooh. Where you just you thought of you thought mm. of a good night and just went? Ooh. Mm. And you're trying to recreate it with one of these fucking retarded little girls. <laughs> Re <laughs> retarded. Who jerks you off with two fingers as she closes one eye and looks to the side. <laughs> she's jerking you off how Stephen Hawkins looks. <laughs> she's, just, Hawkins <laughs> she's like, I'm jerking you off. Are you almost there yet? Do you need a hand up? <laughs> oh, my God. When will you come? <laughs> Please clean up. <laughs> <laughs> when you had a nice little trooper that probably just took it all as you gave it. Yeah, you know, nah. Look at him, look at him. Just look, look at him. I'm just He's looking. Pining going, away a little looking bit. No, no, a little no, bit. no. There's no pining. I'm just looking, a going like, eh, it looks better than uh, looks better than before. Yeah. Cause you, it looks but, it's, but she don't. It looks better. She looks exactly the same. No, no, I think the hair looks better. He's, yeah, he's just missing I'll what give, it was. Nope, I'll give compliments where compliments are due. The hair looks better, natural, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the short skirt thing there to, on today's outfit wasn't wasn't too bad, not too That's shabby. Saying, Looking right? pretty good. But to be honest, it's all it, it never was too bad. Further. Before, you, listen to what you're no, saying no, now. No, I'm not saying you you're know, saying it look. It's and hey, she's looking pretty. But yeah, imagine before you got a piece of that, you was like, oh, it was. It was certain person's name television. Oh, of course. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Yeah. Now, now you're looking like, wow. You know, and then you kind of just come. Mm. And you, and, and you, and you have what they have reference points. <laughs> Refer <laughs> you have a reference point. You have a jerk file that you can go through. <laughs> jerk What's wrong with a jerk file? Oh, uh, the jerk file. I, I go back to, <laughs> I go back to 96. I have a Do jerk file. I have a jerk, jerk file back to 96. Man. Well, how That's far good. are you go back? You really to 96? 96. Let me think about this. 96, 96. I have a jerk file, man. No, I, I got some 80s. You got a jerk from the eighties. I got a few eighties. Wow, let me think. Absolutely, Jesus! <laughs> I got buddy. some eighties in my jerk file. <laughs> what did she do? Suck your asshole? <laughs> Who the fuck has a jerk file from the fucking eighties? Oh yeah, I got it. Oh. Is that her right there? Huh? No, 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 no. no. That's a flat zone. No, What's wrong with you, Patrice? No. What you you trying to say? All white girls look alike? A lot of How times. How dare you? <laughs> a lot of How times. How dare you as a you black man? You know what? White white girls have physically that bothers me. They all have this. Jobs. Not sure. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. Okay. <laughs> any well-respected black man that makes me, any bitch that can up my credit, nigga. <laughs> they have this thing on their stomach where it looks like bone, but it's uh, it, 
it looked like a tire, but it's it's bone. What? It's not soft. It's hard looking. Oh, it's like where the ribs end? Yeah, like a hippie. Where the rib cage ends? Yeah, like a hippie weird. What, you're talking about the, the hip bones? Oh, because it's yeah, not but covered it's... up with fucking, like, What are you fucking talking about? The hip bones. Booty fat you, really you see, this, from the, from all, the all white women have that thing where it, it looks like, and, it's, and it hangs over the, where the ass supposed to be. It's just like a fat, hard thing, like a growth. I and know what we're talking it. about in the front? A little on the, side. the side. Yeah, the side is like a... Oh, that's just because their jeans are tight. It's like a deformity. So yeah. No, it's a, a white girl like... deformity. They no, all it's have called them. the pelvis bone, which is covered up by I know booty a, meat I know on what a black girl. I know what a pelvic bone booty is. Booty meat goes around like from the Booty meat covers everything up. All the way to down the thighs it's a, and shit. It, it's a strange looking thing the white girl's got. It's, it's a weird disease. It's a, yeah, a weird disease. It's pelvic bonia. It's something wrong with him. It's just, that's, that's ah, what, you know. Shit. I'm not gonna sit and say they all have flat asses. It's white girls have done something mm. to where they got asses now. They have nice asses. That used to be the knock on them growing up in the yeah, black yeah. communities that like they got flat asses. But they a black girl here. without an ass is just fucking like that's so rare. Thrown though. to the wayside. Oh, there she is. That's Even, like you, yeah, you take the. Uh... Huh? You know what, dude? She looks a lot different. I think it's better with the darker hair. And she's talking to Mark Dumb DeCostas. <laughs> Look at that motherfucker. Who's that one? Who's the other girl? And now she's been upgraded to talking. Oh, yeah. No, she's yeah, yeah, she's yeah, the yeah, star yeah. of Channel yeah. 11. She's been upgraded to talking. Yeah, they're trying to get the ratings up, I think. They got a little short skirt on her and uh -huh. shit. Do you miss that? What's going on? No, no, it's not a miss thing. Do you miss it sliding just, in? It's just, uh, no, no, it's not a miss thing at all. No, you don't miss it at all. No, no, because like the way things ended is too. It's just it's too like weird. Nuclear explosion. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was nuclear. So when you explosion. think back and you get that little ooh feeling. No, I don't get. I don't think back. I can't remember any of the ooh feeling because the ending was so, you know. It's like Hiroshima. So the sex wasn't like, <laughs> like Hiroshima memorable? doesn't remember anything else about World War Two <laughs> except, except for the, the bomb going That's off. That's very fair. That's an <laughs> understandable point. Yeah. So the sex wasn't like, damn. No, you know. Oh, come on, yeah. it had to be good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, yeah. So what? What was the? What was the big thing you missed that you can't get from these teenagers? Nah, there's nothing I can't get with a roofie. <laughs> Fucking. No, a roofie in a gun closet. Everybody's accommodating. Everybody's a roofie been and a gun to your head. Very yeah. accommodating and nice. You know nice. what this is? This is a this is called a Desert Eagle, sweetie. Hey, you know, watch <laughs> watch what this does to a watch what this does to to a model of your head made out of a cantaloupe. <laughs> yeah, check out my video. Now, do we understand each other? <laughs> do you understand without me having to say anything? That... Wait a minute. And this is when he has her hemmed up, and she's like, the cops come, and she's like, Phew, I feel better now. And the cops come to the door and go. Hey, Aunt, how are you? Hey, Kidnapped another one? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and you got your Henry Lee Lucas t-shirt on as you fucking... <laughs> as you show it a, the Desert Eagle bullet. <laughs> you, did, that you don't even use the fucking gun. You just, uh, you just have around. a peach, and you shove the bullet right into the peach. You just and you go, it, look yeah. at what it does. It goes right through that seed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Hey, were you in Albany recently? Yes. Fucking people uh -oh. saying you killed up there. Just Dude, want to make sure you get your. Uh, I'm your a professional. Thank you, there. Albany. It was. It was. It was a blow to the ego. Why? And, and nobody really showed up in Albany. Dude, it was a, it, it was a rough one. People don't have money right now. Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying it was a rough. <laughs> I'm mad. trying to help you out. I'm not saying that that they fucked them. I enjoyed I the people that were there. I don't think it has anything to do with you. Is what I'm saying. I'm people saying are, I was in, are coming I was back in like, right now. I was in Saratoga. Uh, that's, that's supposed to be really nice. Saratoga and Albany. Please. Were you up there for that, the horse racing? No, it was August wasn't the season. horse racing month, right? It wasn't the season yet. I think it was off. The season was off. Okay. But I got to drink uh, uh, Saratoga Springs water. How is that? It's horse water. shit. <laughs> Fucking a bunch of horse shit. It's all horse it's shit. evil. What, they brag about their water up there? That's their big thing is water. And, and, and what do you get from their water that you don't get from New York City water? Uh, a conversation <laughs> <laughs> that no one cares about. <laughs> they just discuss their water. Which is why I say life is for, people say life ain't fair. Yeah. I go, life is very fair. Yeah. We all have water to drink. We came in with water to drink. God mm -hmm. gave us water, air, food. Yeah. But at some point, someone... Said, I'm gonna sell water. <laughs> and, and, we bought and in. if you can't afford it, in. Africa, Thailand, 
Yeah. Go fuck yourself. People aren't fair. Life is very fair. People are terrible. Yeah. To how do we, sell water. How right. did we buy into the water uh, scam? Ronnie, I, I don't get it. As you drink out of a yeah, water yeah. bottle, by Ronnie, the way. Ronnie Bennington brought up a, a great point. He goes, who would have thought, like, 20 fucking years ago or so, that we'd be uh, getting free long-distance phone calls and paying for water. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, that think something you never would have thought would ever happen. Yeah. It, it, yeah, free long distance calls and, and, uh, and you're paying for your water all the, the time. And the fear. How many people drink out of a, a fountain? Dude, when was the last time you fucking we filled all... up a glass from your faucet? I did. I, I fucking don't buy bottled water. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I, I told you my refrigerator broke the, the water part, which I was so proud of. Like, when you grow up poor, there's some oh. things you'd go... Every time I get a glass of water out of my refrigerator, I just feel... Yeah, that's... I that's, feel like I made it. When, <laughs> when you push the glass... Solid, though, you right. push the glass in there and... <laughs> just I, a glass of water and that jingle, ice thing jingle, works. Jingle. I still fill up through the refrigerator. I fucking love the refrigerator. New York City has the some of the best water well, in, the, in, it's the, in the country. It's delicious. It's fucking delicious. I'm talking out of the refrigerator is one thing. Out of the faucet I'm talking about. Yeah. Where old I've done school, it. you just take a glass. Yep. Whoosh, really? Yep. Haven't done that in... I don't know why? how long. Why? Because you listen I to got, people. I got bottled water all in my refrigerator. But why? Because you, are you, you yeah. seem better than that to just listen no, to people tell you to drink. Yeah, because you know when you were water, Anthony, it's when you were fucking convenient as hell to grab a bottle and I'm out it's the door. It's less convenient to turn your faucet on. <laughs> yeah, it's right are you there. fucking <laughs> joking me? Do? I'm gonna. I leave in the morning for work. I like <laughs> ice cold water for my drive into work. So what am I gonna do? Fill up a glass and, and put it in my console? That's what fucking, you used to do. Yeah, I well. I I used to do a lot of things. Now you take now. this shitty water, which, by the way, all, the best bottled water are the ones, if you look closely, Bottle purified. Oh, just purified just water. Just Brita in a oh. bottle. They just decided to bottle oh, tap shit. water that they, that they you know, but yeah. Dannon and Poland Springs sicken me. I don't care. You know what the thing is? Here, here's my deal. It's not even the water itself. Okay. If somebody filled up bottles... <laughs> Uh, from the tap and put him in the refrigerator. You drink that. I would think that was the best fucking thing. What? It's the convenience of the bottle. Why don't you just have a big cup with one of those coffee things with a little sip thing in no, there? No, no, it's got to be a bottle. You put it on there. I and can't you, throw. And you drink I can't it. throw those at fucking cabbies when they like cut me off and 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 then stop in traffic. You're adding to the destruction just, of the planet, Anthony. <laughs> and man. wing that fucking bottle out the window. We, we gotta live. Mother we gotta live. What about your niece? It's a bottle. What about do? the world for your niece? They'll figure something out. We did. You don't care. We figured shit you out. Don't see you don't care you about see the Die Hard. Up? You ever see the last Die Hard? Yeah. The, the last one. Yeah, the like the last new one. The new one. Yeah. Very good point that the kid. The kid goes, <clears throat> let somebody else do it, and he says, kid, you think there's somebody else? There's no one else. No, we got to do it. No, we don't. There's nobody else. Necessity gets things done. We don't have to do anything right now as far as the environment goes because I go outside. I'm not burning up. I'm not freezing cold. It's not 80 below when we go outside, and it's not fucking 120 degrees in the summer. But, see, but no, here it is. But you're, you're making the weather out to be... See, here's what we do wrong. We give everything human traits. This is where we mm -hmm. fuck up. We give the weather human traits. Like, hey, I'm outside. The weather, you can walk outside, and then the the, the world can decide to eat you. Yeah. As soon as you walk outside. Exactly. As soon as you walk outside, there could be some type of weird hailstorm, and, they'll, and, and the hail will kill you. So you, we, give, we give everything these traits like, hey, it's just today or tomorrow. That shit can just happen this second. So you got to be aware of it this second. Let me give you a prime example of what I'm talking about. We live our lives on this planet as human beings and we advance, we use our technology, we do this. Sometimes it fucks shit up and then it's people, then the next generation can fix it. We're very adaptable human beings. So then they fix shit. Here's a prime example. Uh, where way are, where back, are all cell phones at right now? Where the fuck are all those things? Exactly. They're in people's this is, he don't give a shit. fuck. You know where they're at? They're, they're in China. Doors. And they and they got some children yeah, out and there. Yeah, a big dump. And they're, they're picking out what's good for those phones. Mm -hmm. And the rest are just in a hole in China. Oh, well. Why China? We Who else does yeah. anything? <laughs> China. We can't bury them here you're, in America. You're not going to let me make my fucking point. Oh, go ahead. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Go you're ahead. not going to let me make my point on what, on a prime example of what happened in the past that that shows that proves my fucking point. Okay, go ahead. We uh, 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 farmed the Midwest to the point where 
we completely obliterated the topsoil. <laughs> okay. It was called the Dust Bowl. Okay. The entire middle of the fucking country turned into dust. Okay. It, and, and the wind blew, and people fucking were dying. They left the Midwest. We could not farm the Midwest anymore. Do you think the people that did that fixed it? No. Over time, people realized, you know what we got to do? Crop rotation, proper irrigation. We have to do it. And people figured out how to farm the Midwest without fucking it up. No, they didn't. That, yes, they did. They they invented a company called Monsanto. Monsanto. Yes. yes. That create it what they call genetic uh, modified well, they, shit. They've done that too, but they had to learn how to rotate crops and and uh, irrigate and bring water from other areas. They fixed the problem. They didn't fix it. They took they, they took it. one. You look thing. at the fucking fly over the Midwest. You look down. What do you see? Farms, farms, farms. You ever see? You ever see uh, round farms? I'm, I'm sure you have seen the Matrix. Of oh, course, I love the Matrix. The the fucking what is the guy's name? Uh, Agent uh, Smith. Smith. Who's oh, just like Mr. The Anderson? Expo the explanation of people. <laughs> the explanation of what we are. We go someplace, and mm. and we multiply. You even and we help take... your landlady take out her garbage. <laughs> we're we're the worst. We take we take it, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's such a great thing. I got to go home and get. It. But we take everything. We go to someplace. Yeah. We multiply. We take from that every other thing. Uh, is at harmony with their environment. Mm -hmm. We take, we fuck, until there's so many of us that we have to move on to take and fuck and destroy the next thing. Things compensate. We're, we're viruses. Things so when you, so when we come, when you come and you take water, irrigation means you take something yeah. and you put it somewhere else. We reroute but it. Then the other thing is fucked up. Now we're not harmonious. We didn't need that. We're other destructive. Thing. The other thing getting water. Wasn't as important as putting yeah, water African. where we can <laughs> putting <laughs> water. Fucking asshole! We oh, figured oh, it out. Fucking kid somewhere. That's why. That's why the Midwest doesn't have I a knew little this fucking racist. naked kid sitting there <laughs> with clothes running around. There's a, around there's a, there's a pipe running from Guatemala to fucking Idaho but somewhere. In fucking Zimbabwe <laughs> would figure out how to get some water. Perhaps. In Zimbabwe, <laughs> let Zimbabwe <laughs> figure out how to pipe some water in, and perhaps they would be a, a little kid with flies on his head. You can't be like this, man. Now I'm like you this. Can. You're not going to change him. <laughs> Give up on him. It comes Talk from to the others. Colorado River. First of all, the Colorado River feeds Los Angeles. There would not be a Los Angeles if we didn't figure out how to take water from the Colorado River and pipe that shit right in. There would be a desert where Los Angeles is right now. But we figured out how to pipe that shit in. We know how to From do things. From the Colorado where? River. Colorado River. What about the Colorado River it's now? Done the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon's done. It don't need the water anymore. <laughs> and we is... <laughs> yeah, if it keeps digging, it's going to split the earth in yeah, half. It's so awful. It's going to stop. That thinking is so bad, Anthony. It's so wrong. <laughs> no, it's fantastic that we can do this stuff. What's it's so wrong about it. We're just another life on here, on this planet, but we figured out how to change things into metal and fucking, you know, we take dirt, rocks, air, wood, and fucking mix them all together and make flying and machines. Make, and make We're things amazing. that aren't harmon harmonious why with the it, earth. Why does it have to be? Because we live here. Why does it have to be harmonious? It does. If the earth decides because everything we don't, else, if everything the earth else fucking decides we shouldn't be here why anymore, are we the only me, animals, we won't be here. Why are we the only animals on earth, right, yeah. that, that kill, but it's called murder? Mm -hmm. It's because we kill without harm. We don't kill for the for reasons. We we the only motherfuckers that do shit frivolously because we feel like it. We don't do it because we have to. We don't do it for the right thing. That doesn't have anything to do with being the, doing the right thing and doing and doing uh, your right thing. your right thing and wrong thing is based on what this this fucking morality on that conjecture. We have it's just based on fucking, feeling. This having this, a fucking feeling. This morality <laughs> that's been fucking what feeling? <laughs> it's just based on ha having but, humanity. But we don't. And I hate out. having humanity. We but don't it, jump out it. and grab like another fucking guy by the throat with your teeth and we're, shake him. We're, and, we're blowing up the moon. Do, what the fuck for? Do you understand? Yeah. What did the Why moon do to us? Why are we doing this? We are, we're seeing if there's water there. 
For what reason? Because so if, we could go up if, there and destroy. If that, there's uh, a future where we decide to go there and build a moon base, <laughs> because what, Anthony? Get, because we can't live on Earth anymore. Exactly. Because we destroyed Why it. Why the fuck that's do it. we need to think about leaving Earth? Yeah, that's the only reason. Because no, I'll tell Why you. Why are we going to Mars? Point. Why are we going to Jupiter? Because we have to colonize there, all these places. Because as human there beings. could be possible resources to use there to destroy. You know what we Earth? are. And, We're the and, Independence Day aliens without <laughs> spaceships. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Patrice. We're the worst. All we, everything. all we do Perfect. is take until it's nothing left. And there's only a few people that know that there's not a lot. Let me tell you, man, this is, again, do not dive, dive, divulge or, 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 or digress. Yeah. It's the same thing. Right now, this is at the top of the, of the, the conspiracy theory ladder. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's people are having tough times thinking. I read an article that said, how do we stop global warming? It's in England. Uh -huh. And, and the, whoever the Surgeon General person over there, she says, by using condoms, right, to stop having people be around. Mm -hmm. they, they, we're at the point that we're sucking up the world dry so much that the plans is to kill people that don't need to live. Yeah. Cause they, cause there's too many of us and all we do is take, take and take that we have to now go, okay, we're not thinking about stop taking. We're thinking about killing people and making them take uh, fucking vaccinations and shit. So, and, and, and a doctor was telling my woman, she was, she went to the doctor and the, and the doctor there said the, the fucking H1N1 flu shot yeah. can't get it if you're an old person. Can't get it if you're a scene in your 60s or 60s. I think that's crazy because they're, the, they're some of the first it. people that get it because the elderly they and children. They don't get it. I yeah, I read that too. That. The fucking elderly that. have to die oh, well. from this shitty whatever they're going to do. The earth itself, let me, let me, let me, let me explain. The earth itself takes care of things like overpopulation. It fucking just naturally takes care of it. I'll give you an example. Okay. Fucking, uh, some, there are some places on earth where, uh, the populace cannot sustain themselves. There is starvation. There is uh, horrible living conditions. And bingo, it is the fucking petri dish of disease that that then kills a lot of people to keep them in in check. So there isn't more people uh, starving. This and is shocking fucking. that you're saying this. But it. But that's what nature does. That that's not natural. It is. This is too. people not help. plagues aren't fucking natural. Let me ask a you a question. A plague that comes up and kills fucking millions of people. Let me ask thins you. Thins the herd. If if yeah. water just stopped pumping to your house. Yeah. And something happened where your your car stopped. Mm. You couldn't get to anywhere. There was no no stores oh, in, shit. within within ten miles. Oh boy. It, no water. Yeah. No gas, mm -hmm. no nothing. Okay, yeah. how the fuck would you stop yourself from being some shitty third world person? What would you do? Uh, I'm not what do you know it. how to do to to keep yourself alive if the conditions aren't? Uh, if some dictator mm -hmm. decided that think, I'm gonna fucking just murder people and people are gonna live in shitty conditions, I think what I'm, the I'm a, fuck would you do? I personally am a pretty good survivalist, but I'll tell you something. This nation would be fucked. We're a bunch of spoiled motherfuckers. I can't see a a, a bunch this nation marching somewhere as refugees. We just would look silly in fucking designer shoes and, but that's, and everything that's, else. That's close to being kind of what we're doing, man. You see how how much they're saying the dollar's going down. What the fuck if if somebody if if Obama, of course, we hate to have it happen and be the black dictator African guy. <laughs> but if that's going to happen, if that happens and it's like, well, this is what's going to be or <clears throat> or genocide or FEMA camps, by the way, mm -hmm. where they just put people where, the, you know, the president can lock you up and not have a reason to lock you up and keep you there. All that shit we learn on CSI just doesn't exist no more. They just say <laughs> the, the law is just like, shut the fuck up. This is what's going to happen to you. Look mm -hmm. at what happened to fucking, uh, I'm sorry, Katrina. Yeah. They, they, these motherfuckers, we're not third world, but it became third world real, real fucking quick. That fast. That was a clusterfuck. Yeah, that was a clusterfuck. Well, th th that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, why isn't you you saying it's God over there, but it's a clusterfuck here? Who made the fucking hurricane? No one made Katrina. To fucking oh what we we were responsible for but that. But that's what I'm saying. That's all it takes. It takes. Of course. It takes. I'm agreeing with you. The I'm Sahara. Agreeing. The Sahara Desert. All it takes is, uh, at some point, ten million years ago, it used to be a lot of shit and, and a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> and at some point, 
It ain't no more rain. You don't think and that's people, natural? <laughs> but that's not so that you die. Maybe it is. Maybe that's nature. Fair enough. I can't argue. Check, maybe check, it is. A check and balance. It's hard, it's hard to argue. Maybe balance. it is. You can't argue it's that. It's almost impossible to argue. Maybe it is. It's a check and balance. <laughs> check and balance. <laughs> but how it's much we fuck. Why not? For how much it's we hard to fuck argue the earth. Not. For how much we supposedly <laughs> fuck the earth, the earth fucks us right back. With volcanoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, uh, uh, t tornadoes, thunder and lightning, fucking hurricanes, floods. We're constantly, the hundreds of millions of people are getting killed by this planet. The planet kills people. <laughs> the planet kills. But is that selective? No, it's random. It's just random. It's random. But, random shit. But it keeps things in check. It keeps, you know, the population. Uh, oh, oh uh, we'll, we'll fucking tsunami a quarter million people off the face of the earth over here in Southeast Asia. Eh, fuck it. But what kills me is why can't we... There's enough... This is what gets me. Mm -hmm. There's enough for everybody. There's enough shit for everybody to have a goddamn home. No. There's enough shit for everybody to have Not a goddamn hamburger. You're thinking there's America. There's just enough. You're thinking to in America. In the world, in the world. No. There's no. just enough shit. There are places in this earth, and I'm talking about... Uh, uh, Name uh, a place where someone sub, hasn't been living for 50 million years or whatever. I'm talking a place like Sub-Saharan Africa. People sub live there. Sub-Saharan Africa is an awful place. But people live there. They don't live there. They fucking exist there. <laughs> but they, Living is, is inventing. In a big house. Is fucking, is, no, I'm talking fucking tribal shit that's still going on. People hacking each other apart with machetes. Why is that still happening? <laughs> in, in, in this year, in this fucking day and age, that's why I always say, hey, the, that point is something I thought about it's too, insanity. which is like black people always trying to like kind of find Africa, and yeah. I go, I go, Africa gave us the worst things about it's us. Horrible. Black on black crime is from Africa. It's horrible. It's like I'm, the, the idea that I would chop another nigga up with, with a, a machete. machete came right from Africa, man. Absolutely, it's just a horrid place. <laughs> I can't understand. <laughs> I really hate to agree with a white it's guy. Like, <laughs> Africa stinks. I mean, you know. I'm not interested in Africa it, at all. It, it, but still, the humanity of it, there. though. There's, yeah. there's children. There's a lot of humanity that we lack. And I'm just saying, look, uh, and I'm not just talking about philanthropy. I'm just I'm talking about like a, like a company like Procter & Gamble, dude, mm -hmm. it, it, that just has its fingers in. On, on if I if I hated Procter and Gamble, you know what I I'll be third world. If I boycotted Procter and Gamble, I'd be like, hold the fuck up. Yeah, I need that shit. I'm fucking. I'll stink. <laughs> now third world. I'll starve. Yeah. My house will be <laughs> full of vermin. Yeah. It's a, it, it, it's one of those companies like you could do the right thing. You have enough. We have enough. It, like okay, you people talk about communism and socialism. Yeah. It, don't, these ideas, there's nothing wrong with them. It's the people who get their hands on these ideas. The idea of communism where everybody's it's doing very okay. idealistic. The yeah. idea of that is beautiful, but the people who execute it are terrible. I'll agree but, with you but, on that but one. But let's give me a break. Everybody should be, you know, Danny had a sandwich over here. You, you know, you had your oatmeal. Why the fuck is, is there an oatmeal shortage? Why the fuck can't we all have a, some oatmeal? I know this sounds crazy, <laughs> no, but what the fuck? <laughs> why is why are there people fucked up without oatmeal? There's well, people starving. That seems like an easy one to give everybody. Let's why give the world oatmeal? Over here, packs eat oatmeal on purpose. They go in. Let me get a. And there's tons of oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. Tons of it. Right. An African really would appreciate a little oatmeal, a, a little oatmeal it's, with some butter in it. So let's it, spread the oatmeal. Let me, let me, <laughs> it's just, I mean, I know nice I sound like we are the world, logistics, but it's just, come on, man. Logistics, huge problem. And you're right, people fuck it up. And we do send a lot of aid over there as far as food goes. No, we don't resources. send a lot of aid. A we lot. pay dictators. This is what we do. But those We pay dictators there you go. for their land to kill somebody. They go, look. Harry, 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 we Henry Kissinger is a motherfucker. We are Here's not ready? fucking. Here's thirty million dollars of uh, Ungamba. Ungamba. John Ungamba. John. <laughs> I love. I love their first name is always Harold, and then their last name, Harold Benbique. Here you go, dude. Here's what we need you to do. We're gonna help you overthrow this pussy ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna help you kill him because he loves the people. This is why they want. Uh, uh, who's the dude in in uh uh. Uh, oh, that real badass motherfucker! Not Lula, but who's that's Brazil. Who's the motherfucker in 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 Argentina? Come on, 
Well, oh, fucking, uh. That they all hate. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah uh, that guy. Uh, that guy. They, we all, we anyway, all know. We, we all they, know. Anyway, they hate him because he loves it. Chavez, Chavez. Of course. He loves his people. That, we don't need people around that love their people. We need people that go hit. Look, this is why they hate Chavez. Hey, nigga, here's a billion good old U.S. dollars. Give us all your oil. All right? This is what we're going to do. We're going to loan it to you. We want you to default on the loan. Okay? And at the same time, we need you to kill a whole bunch of your motherfucking people. <laughs> now, here's what you do. You keep our money. The loan default. We own your land now. We get your resources. And you kill a bunch of your goofy-ass people for me. How's that sound? And these goofy motherfuckers in Africa, yes, Chavez is like, no, that's why they hate that motherfucker. You don't never hear him hating motherfuckers who kill. You don't, Idi Amin never had, they did a movie about him. <laughs> <laughs> he was wonderful. Forrest Whitaker was, oh, that Whitaker nigga was killed 400,000 people, chopped oh, them up. Because yeah. he, he makes deals. Yes. They make deals. And I'm saying at the end of the day, these motherfuckers go in and they don't give aid. They don't, they're not saying help your people. They saying, Mr. Dictator, do this for us. You get this money, and when shit go down, you go, we're going to give you a nice jet plane over to a nice uh, third world tropical country that's really not third world. That's what we do. What about, We're not helping the fucking no, planet. No, look, what about what about the countries that don't even have a, a set up government that have been in civil war with each other in Africa Ooh. for years? You're talking fucking civil war. Zimbabwe is a good uh, example. Fucking uh, the Congo, whatever it's called now. They have leaders? No, no. They're warlords. Yes, dictators. They're yes. They're warlords. Horrible motherfuckers. Even, and and they're, they're, like, they're not even defined borders anymore. They're territories. And the people are fucking starving and dying. And whenever we bring aid in, it's taken by the warlords. And then... Uh, sold when, when, on their black when, market. When we bring a, this is what I'm saying. When American government, our soldiers, I mean European, our, you our know, fucking the, a, anybody yeah. in, in a developed country, soldiers come in and give these people food. Motherfuckers just go. They, we go they, like we drop it off at, at FedEx. Yeah. Take care of the food. Enjoy. And they know a warlord's coming to take the food. Oh, it's horseshit. Well, shit. sorry. Wait, wait, wait. We tried uh, in one uh, country to actually. Make sure the food gets to the people. Sent troops over there uh, to make sure that the warlords didn't take the food. It was called fucking Somalia. That's the only reason we were there. We weren't there to fucking uh, uh, do anything but help the people get their fucking food from the warlords and get that warlord out of there to fucking so the people uh, would actually get food. We got fucked so bad, we turned tail and ran our our asses so out of there. So why don't why don't we? If, if and this, Somalia is still now, a fucking now, mess. And that's a, now, you just made something that makes a lot of sense to me. Why don't we, and this goes to what we're doing now, mm -hmm. this is what I mean, all the shit we do, that that, that we're just being told, because really, me and you are having a con uh, conversation based on what we feel, yeah, true. not what we know. Yeah, that's true. And, and at the end of the day, <laughs> that's so true. A little at, bit the, of what at we the end of the day, <laughs> Afghanistan, Ooh, I don't know, we're there to try to protect the world from, from something, yeah. but... If you said we're there delivering food to the people and we have 50,000 troops over there in Somalia delivering food to people and we're fighting warlords so that we can feed the people, uh -huh. that's a hell of a reason to fight a war. But we don't fight wars over that. I don't know why we're in Afghanistan. And I still don't know why Iraq. Yeah. What the fuck is that now? Uh, Iraq is that's what I'm saying. Into something completely so, it, different. so this is what I mean. This is this is something. It's but just Clinton, something's fucked up. But Clinton did send troops to Somalia so that they could feed the people. That's yeah, what they were Black there for. Black Hawk Down niggas. That was Six the fucking motherfuckers thing. with knives. <laughs> you got more rockets. Exactly. It's that's the fucking thing. It's always underpowered because he didn't want it to look. Like we were doing this overwhelming uh, display of force uh, when in the meantime, we should have had an overwhelming display of force over there. But that's it, a reason that becomes to send very true becomes very political. Then that's what's happening in Afghanistan right now. We're there because the Taliban sets up uh, Al Qaeda training camps. And this isn't conspiracy. This, this is, is what's been done. The, uh, they set up Al Qaeda training camps. This is what they're camps. saying. No, this is what happened. When we went in there and killed off the Taliban right after 9-11. And then Total, and they were in charge sudden, of the motherfucker. These, what are they, the Boy Scouts? They just came back together? Yeah. This they, is what, when did the Taliban, with us there, yeah. get more powerful than when we weren't there? I don't want to say why. 
I don't want to say why, but I might say there's a weaker fucking president in the White House right now. Shit. There's a weaker president. <laughs> I might say that that interrogation Shit. tactics oh, uh, have been taken and 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 shoved. I'm taking the rest of the morning off. <laughs> and the CIA oh, and fuck. FBI not have, have to worry if they're going to be convicted if they smack a guy around to get some information out of him. What? No. Oh, like that doesn't have some effect. Uh, on on how a war is fucking fought yeah. when when uh, Obama's got to sit and expect accept his Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> while uh, a commander is sitting there going I need more fucking guys and he goes I'm thinking about it don't think about it give your commander what he needs to fight a fucking war what are they fighting the Taliban uh, they're fighting that whether this look I'm not saying this is good <clears throat> bad and different I don't know whether this will work whether it's good or not right. but if you're gonna commit to a war commit to a war if you're not get the fuck out right one or the other if your commander is telling you you want me to fight this war i need this you give him this he knows better than but you but it's do. hard to fight a war when you're fighting a concept see that's what I'm, we're yeah. not fighting a people this is what i mean the taliban is not a fucking force it's a it, terrorism is like saying we're gonna fight ugly they were they were <laughs> A, the I'm gonna fight fat. <laughs> they were pretty much the the government of of Afghanistan, the Taliban. Right. They ran fucking shit there. There right. would be headings in the soccer stadiums, all that. And shit. they used to go, hey, we the, and they used to be dealt with as the government. Right now, yeah. they're dealt with as an army force. Right. that aren't a for This is what I'm saying. You need more soldiers to do what? But we, we, you know what it is? We don't have an answer for that. Which is fucked up. There isn't an answer to... But we have right. a solution for something that we don't even have a question to that yeah. don't have an answer, but we have the solution. Exactly. More motherfuckers. I'll agree with you. No, if you're going to fight something, you need more motherfuckers or you need to get out. And why can't... Here's the thing. And, and again, I'm politically, man, I'm not going, Obama's the greatest. And he's mm -hmm. a president. He's he's the GM of this country. Right. It's not going to change. The next motherfucker, whoever that is, uh, I, I think it's going to be the, the, the young... Um, Young Republican. That young, that young white boy. He's the only, uh, what is his name? Oh, well, the, the 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 preacher. Come on, man. Oh, I'm come on. Good looking, man. good looking guy. Preacher Republican? from Houston. I'm They're trying lost. to get. Oh, come on, man. We'll get it in a second. Uh, Damn. Anyway, I'm lost. So so he'll 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 take Obama's place. But it's not like this is Obamaville that we live in. This is this is what kills me. This is not. Obama town. It's not like after he's finished, the next guy is going to have to repaint the United States back to the <laughs> color it was. But when he, he he's running this shitty country and he's doing, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, I but he's either. doing he's doing what presidents do. It's not like after Bush, and I'm not even blaming Bush because it's like, well, Bush did this. Bush, Bush did what presidents Bush, do. But he fucked up severe too with he, Iraq. <laughs> complete fuck up. That Iraq debacle, but the, complete the Iraq, fuck up. There was no debacle. It, it was a debacle. bunch of shitty was motherfuckers bunch of who wanted to rob people. They went in for, they needed a reason to go into Iraq, and they went there. And not to go that far back, but the, the Obama thing, why Why wouldn't it be smart to have a president, right? And this is, this is what they need him for, by the way. Hmm. A president that's not an old white man. Okay. Now, okay. if well, you send me the that. third, if I'm, if, if me and you, all of us are, are going discussing things like, hey, you know what? We need to start going to make friends with some of these motherfucking brown people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Joel Osteen is his name, by the way. That's, that's the next president. That's the, that's the motherfucker that's going for. Osteen. Joel Osteen. Watch, watch. Interesting. Okay. So if we need, if we've had bad relationships and, the, and we're trying to change this idea because the world is becoming the world. It used to be the United States of America, very inclusive, very xenophobic. Yeah. Fuck the worst of the rest of the planet. Now everything's outsourced. We got to deal oh, with a way, billion Indians, a billion Africans, a billion Spanish. We, we got to deal swept, with that. We also uh, uh, flew in and and saved the shit out of a lot of uh, no, situations no, no, back in the day. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But at the end of the at the end of the day, it, I don't know if it was righteous, but at the end of the day, look, if we're gonna make apologies to countries that have other than white people in it. Mm -hmm. We have to have another than white guy going around Doing making it. these apologies. Well, he sure, this he is certainly a, this has. This is a government plan. They, Obama can't do shit. It's like, look, America is Burger King or McDonald's, dude. The GM of a fucking McDonald's can't just do anything he wants. The president he, cannot do anything he fucking wants to. You, I think you're... 
cutting him a little too short uh, as far as what you he think can he's, or can't do. You think there's a bunch of people, he's like, this nigga sitting there. First of all, he said, fuck the Cambridge police, right? They mm -hmm. said, fuck you back. He had these niggas over there for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells you what the fuck this country thinks of the black president, that the, the HNIC has to apologize to a fucking racist cop? Racist cop? He just went there to fucking take out Oh, uh, listen, let's not even get discussion. in that, because again, racism's just yeah. like Bigfoot. Uh, I know, yeah. we know, we think it exists. <laughs> yeah, perish the thought a cop shows up with a fucking burglary call. Oh, that son of a bitch racist. Wow, he actually got a call Ready? that a burglary is in progress. He shows up, there's some guy at the fucking house you know what? You that win? starts mouthing off to I'm him. Tell wow, you what, what a prick. I'm going to tell you something. You, you win that conversation because it's hard to know. See, as a black man, I would want uh somebody to check on my house if somebody was coming yeah, as exactly. a guy that owns the house i want somebody to the police to come and check yeah. me and i go hey yeah and thanks man for coming fucking lippy to but the at the, when at he's the trying end to of the shit day out. at the end of the day it's so hard for me to go you're racist without you going yes i am so oh, you man, can do man. shit to me and i'm black like you shoot a motherfucker 51 times and he's black you you, you go that's racist but you go nah I shoot a white guy 51 times, too. Like, it's hard to have that fucking conversation. So at the end of the day, look, Obama cannot make his... He can't just go, hey, everybody, suck my dick. I'm going to Poland. Like, he, you can't do that. Well, I, I kind of think it doesn't exist. My dick. I, I agree with you, Patrice. I'd agree with the suck my uh, dick part. I would, he uh, is a. The president this just doesn't have that type of power a, anymore. Thank you. He's a, I really believe that. He's an image. He's a world wide tool for America to start He's being friendly with people who ain't white. You don't You're think. saying that Obama's like a Dave Thomas. What's He's, that? He's just kind of out there. He, Dude. But, if I'm an African uh, prime minister, Dave Thomas if, I, Wendy's, if you I'm know, Asian, even a... though Asians don't like us that much, but other, but people hate old white men. You're the image, that Uncle Sam image with the put in the right. and the dead white guys on the dollar. People are being uh, fed up with white people around the, around the globe. Hmm. They are. Oh, the and, poor, and, poor and, white and, old white people that invented a lot of shit and fucking like <laughs> built built up these civilizations. Fucking engineered, fucking engineered <laughs> some of the greatest fucking thing. What do you think? Are the you Roman saying Empire? civilization started in 1619? No, I'm with talking slavery? about. I'm talking about what? wonderful things like the Roman fucking empire that, that crumbled. That, yeah, I'm not saying things to last forever, but, but the technology that came out of that. The out of fucking, what? Toilets? The, while, they didn't do while, shit. While sub-Saharan Africa was fucking exactly the it, same as it, it is right now. How about inventing a wheel? <laughs> For fuck's sake, a wheel. Christ on a pony, a wheel. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, I do, do bring in aqueducts. They were bringing fucking water a, a, a thousand miles so they could have running fucking baths and fuck each other in the ass. <laughs> oh, I'm just swamatoriums. <laughs> I'm sweating because uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually hot in here. It is? Okay. But yeah, I was yeah, just. The Dave Thomas thing was hammering your point home. Like, Dave Thomas was the face of Wendy's, but did he do anything, actually? But that's what I'm saying. What did, what so did, Obama's the face, Obama can meet the face of America, but does, generals. does he do a lot does, of stuff? Ready, or is there a lot of other people behind Obama, the scenes and this doing would, a lot of this? This is what fucks me up about the, the news and this and that. Why the Thank fuck you, don't Danny. they go? Why don't they just go? Uh, <sighs> it's It's the government. Like... Oh, why would Obama, as a name, get so Obama much pressure? Administration. Uh, fair enough. He appoints but people. But we should have an understanding that it has nothing. To, he appointed. Let me tell you who's in his office. It's oh, Clinton's no. office. No. It's Clinton. His fucking attorney general. And, and it's Rahm, and Rahm his Emanuel. Fucking... And these fucking people, Anthony, at the end of the day, at the mm. end of the day, you know that the government has nothing to do with Obama, it's the same shit. But he, put, let me tell you something. He, I, I believe one of the one of the biggest things he did was his appointment of the attorney general, who, by the way, is uh, <laughs> very radical, right? Uh, very left wing, um, and can can absolutely affect uh, this country internally as far as our laws go. So, a radical uh, left wing person, what a, yeah. what would be their agenda? Like, would you be afraid of what a, la a, a, a radical left wing would personally, do? my Second Amendment right, I, I really... Take away the guns? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, I don't like that whole thing. Um, I've changed my views uh, on a lot getting, of this shit. Getting a little loose on crime, 
getting a little loose on crime. When you have an attorney general in there, that's a little tougher uh, on crime. Maybe we're not as uh, apt to have criminals back out on the street well, so quickly. I mean, let's uh, be honest. Plexico Burris mm -hmm. is going to jail for two and a half years. Anyone would have for by the shooting way. his leg. It was and and the fact terrible. that any anyone would. You're right. I don't. It I don't should agree be changed. With that. I don't agree with that at all. That's all. It it, it it it. Some of these things. Look, everybody who commits a crime shouldn't go to jail. No, I agree. I mean that you know right. what I mean? Weed shit like that, just stop. Yeah, yeah. Send him off to jail, jail for years, years for that stop. shit. Stop. Underage stop. sex, stop. No, yeah, please. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, he's lower, lower the age. Yeah, what the fuck? Come on. Look, Girls should, are maturing earlier these days. We should take a break. <laughs> <laughs> we got to take a break because we got to get into the Australian TV show thing, man. Oh, wow. They, well, this is absolutely... Yeah, I mean, Patrice uh, picked a yeah, great day to come fits. in. Uh, you had a bunch of guys trying to do a little Michael, a uh, little Jackson 5 bit on Australian TV, and there's a lot of outrage. Have you seen the video yet? What's oh. Australia's fucking up? No. Oh, Australia. Is it another yeah. Oh, no. Well, we are. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> We've heard uh, that Australia is very racist. Uh, you heard? Yeah. Shit. And I, I they Jim Jeffries. Jeffries. Really are. Jim Jeffries yeah. told us, right? Jim Jeffries was I like, yeah. I, 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 They're very racist. And Her Harry Connick Jr. is involved. It's a, it's a good little story. Oh, okay. Could be the story of the day, Patrice. <laughs> okay. Harry yeah. Connick Jr., first of all, well, we'll get into it, but yeah, I got my opinion on <laughs> poor Harry Connick Jr., <laughs> Wasn't he an Independence Day? Why is he fucking? Why is he a judge on an Australian Gong Show? <laughs> Motherfucker, Marcel from Rhode Island. Opie, after all this political talk, you compare Obama to Dave Thomas. Can't, no, he goes. And Marcel goes. I can't wait to see you on Fox News. <laughs> I was just going with the CEO you concept that Patrice started. <laughs> and so I was just trying to give an example of what Patrice was getting you at. You know how funny that is? The that funny is part funny, is man. me and you are like, ah, socialism, <laughs> suck a dick. And, and Obi goes, it's kind of like Dave Thomas. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I no. no. no, just that. You got, these, you got these CEO guys. Like fucking uh, Jim Cook. He doesn't make beer anymore. Yeah. But he's the face of Sam Adams. That's all I was trying to get at. He's the niggas bottle and James guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Bottles and James. <laughs> He's the nigga bottles and James just sitting on the porch. <laughs> Holy shit. And someone else saying Dave Thomas did run Wendy's and create it. Yes, I understand that. But later in his life, he just sat back and let everyone else do everything. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. But when I, you think, we get the context. Thank you. I don't know if it was a good one, but I was trying. I mean, we get the context. You're allowed You're allowed to have a mistake during context. Oh, really? All the time. I guess you don't listen to the show. <laughs> All the time. And no mistake goes Yeah, we're not allowed to have one mistake. I nigh. I nigh. He's sort of like. <laughs> I was just trying to get in there. Oh, Jesus. The bottles of Jake. <laughs> Remember those fuckers? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, trying to say that the president's on a porch? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, That's not shit. what I meant. I know. I know. I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit, man. Uh, All right. Yeah, let's take a little breather, and then we'll... Yeah, you know what? Uh, Norton was on Leno. We haven't even discussed it. He Ooh. fucking killed last night. Yeah. He gave us great exposure. Big Opie and Anthony sticker on his set. Yeah, that's great. A wow sticker, a picture of uh, Stalker Patty. He did everything right for the show. Genie. Fucking Jim Norton rules. Uh, just in case you missed it last night, we got the audio of uh, Norton on Leno, okay? As we go to break. Patrice, you uh, promoting anything? Yeah, what do you I'm got? at um, next week. Got? I'm at uh, you got it. You do it. What do I got? I'm in DC. Wow, look at the fucking headlines because Obama uh, won the Nobel Peace Prize. There's a big thing on Drudge. The front is him waving at the podium, and underneath it just says "for what" with a question mark. Obama wins Nobel Peace Prize. Mixed reviews. Uh, quotes. Embarrassing joke. This makes a mockery of the Peace Prize. Wow! I'm raising my hand. I was the first one, by the way, Listen. to uh, voice my uh, outrage at this at um, uh, just minutes after he was Anthony, actually... Anthony, uh, you know what? You turned me around, too. Yes. I, I, I agree with you. Like, yeah. I need to know for what as well. Give me uh, a little they dossier usually explain on why. what he did. Right. 
but this fucking and we will give him the prize because he did this wonderful what did I don't do? know he flew Air Force One around the globe and apologized to everybody for the past eight years well, what are they saying he did to That's win it. the Nobel Peace it's Prize it's this it's this vague kind of what they said was it's this vague <laughs> the first of, black president he, <laughs> that's why he yeah, got it baby yeah. probably yeah. he's changing the perception he's changing of, the world, of the world Man. and how it that there's, was what it was there's not many there there's wasn't not many awards. shaking fucking Egyptian Jew hands on the White House fucking lawn. <laughs> There's not many awards you can win that just for being the first black president. Yeah, that's what are you set for feeling good? You're the first Wait, black president. But he the first, the Nobel that's, Peace that's, Prize. What he, that's what he won. Holy are, shit, here you go. It's yours. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obama, Frank Perdue. Same guy? <laughs> Same guy? Purdue. You think Frank Perdue was plucking those That's chickens? what I'm getting at. <laughs> Frank but when you Purdue. think chicken, you think Frank Perdue. But is he doing anything? He wasn't plucking the, the chickens. He's oral nigger bogger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy shit. <laughs> God damn. What was the... Oh, my God. What did Mars call Renee uh, Zellweger yesterday? I don't even want to say it. Can I say... Rebecca? Do you mind if I say the N-word? Patrice. It was Rebecca uh, Swellnigger. I'm not in charge of that. That's All what right. he said. He called her Rebecca, Rebecca Swellnigger. Who? <laughs> it was Renee Mars. Zellweger, and we showed a picture of her, and he goes, Rebecca Swellnigger? <laughs> and like, Is that no. Mars? Yeah, yeah Mars. We're coming from Mars. I, I know. It's just coming from Mars. He couldn't figure out anyone's name, and that one had us fucking roaring. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's it. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Fucking A. All right, here's the deal. Uh, Patrice, God damn it, the DC, go see Patrice. DC oh, Improv. Yeah. Someone was on the phone saying that some dude tried to kill himself at the uh, DC Improv last week. What? Maybe that guy could call back after the break. I don't know if it was a comic, somebody in the audience, but they had a big was incident. Was playing? Supposedly, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Can you find out what happened? Well, the guy yeah. couldn't wait around. We, were, we went political for an hour. I got a nice nap. Jeez. Ooh, I got a nice nap in. Uh, Patrice, <laughs> DC Improv, what, the 16th? Okay, so next weekend. Mm -hmm. Next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the I hope DC people come Improv. out. I love, I, love, I love fucking DC, man. And, and down the road, uh, Bananas in Poughkeepsie. Yeah, yeah, the following week. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes, sir. Here's yes. Jim Norton on Leno last night. Michu Kaku is on our phone lines. The great physicist. Yes. Who talks to us like we're children. Well, it's, but, but you know something? We really are. I mean, if we're going to blow up the moon, we got to get an expert on our show. We haven't blown up the moon. See, this is why he talks to us like children. <laughs> because he's saying we blew up the moon. Are we going to talk to him or not? Now there's a, there's a panic behind the scenes. We sent a, uh, a, boost, a spent booster rocket yes. into the moon. Correct. To kick up a bunch of crap. Yes. Uh, so another probe following that uh, uh, booster rocket could take all kinds of uh, readings and see if there's any water or frozen water uh, crystals uh, in the cloud, in the plume, and then send that info back to Earth before that thing crashed into it. Well, let's get him on the phone here. Meet you. Hi. Dr. Michio Kaku. Hello. Uh, you must That's have right. a, a very busy day. Everybody wants to talk to you today, huh? <laughs> okay, right, yeah. I've been doing a lot of media. <laughs> oh, there he is on TV morning. now. No, that's the other Asian guy. Oh, sorry. That's Sulu. Uh, Michio Kaku. Yes, right Doctor. here. Yes, sir. Uh, now, uh, we were watching this uh, uh, this probe, and uh, it seems to, to be a success. Uh, well, the actual shot was kind of disappointing. We were all expecting a Hollywood-style money shot like Deep Impact or Armageddon. Yes. But in the next few hours, the spectrographic analysis will come in. And if they find evidence of water and ice, that's a game-changer. That could yes. change the entire space program if they find large quantities of ice on the South Pole. This doesn't mean that we'd have to take a, a lot of resources to the moon with us. Uh, water can be used to make oxygen. Uh, to supply, uh, obviously, water to uh, rocket fuel people. Too. Rocket and, fuel. and rocket fuel, the hydrogen uh, from the water, can be used as rocket fuel. Shut up. That's right. That's, also that's shielding crazy. from radiation. And you realize how expensive it is to bring water to the moon. A pound of anything on the Earth would cost $50,000 to put it on the moon. And imagine if it's uh, a pound of coal. five times the cost of gold. <laughs> that's this for is the better price. than finding gold. Get your money better back. than finding gold. If there's ice on the moon, right? Uh, because uh, you know, gold is only ten thousand dollars a pound, roughly, and it yes, costs fifty thousand yes. dollars to put a. But pound you already know there's the no ice and water on the moon, right? You already know that. 
<laughs> well, I think it's let's be honest, shot. sir. You know that there's no ice and no water on the moon. You know that. It's a long shot. A comet uh, from billions of years ago I may mean, have slammed into the South Pole, where it's very cold and it's permanently covered by shadows and craters. So there's a small chance, a small chance that you could have large deposits of ice. But it's yes. a long shot. And, and you that, don't believe that we even landed on the moon, right, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we've been on the moon. Now, we physicists shine lasers off the moon. There's a mirror left by the Apollo astronauts. We bounce lasers off that mirror, and then we can calculate the distance from the Earth to the moon with in a few inches. That's for fun. So we now, can you the moon program to calculate mm -hmm. the distance from the Earth to the moon by lasers. Now, yes. can I ask you this? Are there any uh, universally known like facts about the universe or um, about science that you completely dislike? Do you do you look at the theory of relativity and go, "That idiot, son of a bitch"? <laughs> Einstein was a a dumbass. Like, are there any? Any theories like by Hawking or anything like that you go, this is ridiculous, I don't believe it, and it's dumb? Well, the thing that really kind of upsets me when I read physics books is when they talk about a singularity where space and time break down, gravity is infinite, and stuff. There's no such thing as singularities, you know? There's no such thing as infinite gravity. I it agree means that, I that, that we don't know what's happening there. That's also an excuse for our ignorance. Now, let me exactly. ask you, let me ask you this, sir. This is, this is something I learned about space, and this is what I believe, because it makes sense to me, is that space is not really uh, empty. It's it's more or less matter. And like, say, the sun is sitting in the middle of this matter, almost like if it's a stretched out sheet. Yes. And the sun is in the middle. And if you put balls and and and, and coins or whatever, it's just going to roll towards the sun. And and that's what our planets are doing, are basically rolling towards the sun. But the thing that's keeping them from rolling into the sun is the fact that they have their own uh, weight that's pushing down on this dark matter. Well, you know, I think that's very close to what Einstein said. Except he beat you by a hundred years. Oh, oh, always trying to take something from a nigger. So <laughs> you don't get the E but, equals MC squared. But I'm just saying <laughs> that you do you believe in that? You personally, sir. Oh, yeah, we actually measure that when we have dying stars, pulsars rotating into each other. Space becomes like molasses, and we can actually measure that. In fact, the Nobel Prize was given a few years ago to physicists who calculated the fact that... Somebody did something. Yeah, that's like a molasses. real Nobel Peace Prize. Yes, a Nobel Prize uh, for science, Have course, you personally discovered anything, sir? Like, meaning, in your, have you ever made up a theory that's pretty well, uh, well known? My, th my theory is called string field theory. I work on something called string theory, and mm -hmm. we want to summarize it into an equation one inch long. Uh, that's my equation. And we hope to test string theory with a $10 billion machine outside Geneva, Switzerland. It's not going to blow up the Earth, but it could prove that we all are made out of vibrating strings. And that's what I do for a living. I'm the co-founder of string field theory. String field theory. And what, and what is the significance? To, to laymen's, like people who just do, are just living life. When I, if I find out that I'm a, just a big black string, well, it means that we can read the mind of God. I'm science See, scientists, you, this is your problem, sir. Stop messing with God. Scientists are the only scientists who can say the word God and not blush. You, you, you know, you, you just, why don't you leave? Here's what you can't explain. This is what you're never able to do. You're able to tell me. Why? How? Like, how your heart beat? No, you're able to tell. Like your heart beats, right? Mm -hmm. You're able to say I hope your, so. your heart beats. Uh, your heart. Be we live because our heart beats. You yeah. give the cause, but yeah, you. But anyway. you don't know why or how your heart beats. Like it's just beating. It's by electricity. The electric impulse that stimulates the heart makes it beat. We can make frog hearts beat by shooting electricity through frog hearts. Mm. Say y'all really it's told God to kiss your ass. Yeah, yeah. Now, now do you much. believe in uh, God, sir? Hell no, he doesn't. Well, we're, we're, I'm just quoting from Einstein. Einstein believed in a God of Spinoza, the God of harmony, beauty, elegance, simplicity. That the universe was so gorgeous. It was a Jedi. Not been an accident. Uh, that's the God of Einstein. Now, let me tell. Uh, that last question. Well, maybe not the last one. What, at what is? the most unexplainable thing like to me the idea of the beginning there has to be a place where you have to kind of chalk it up to god meaning that even physicists go man my mind is not able to conceptualize that this is not god like is well, there anything that you go man this this part is god 
Well, we believe in what is called the multiverse, that our universe is a soap bubble of some sort that's expanding, but there are other soap bubbles out there. And we live in a bubble bath of universes uh, where big bangs happen when bubbles collide, um, bubbles fission in half. And we're going to prove it in the coming years with a new satellite that NASA is launching in about five to eight years. And so we're going to prove that there was, in fact, something before the Big Bang, something before Genesis, before Chapter 1, Verse 1 of Genesis, and it was the multiverse, a multiverse of universes. That is interesting. Very interesting, Dr. Kaku. But here's the God part, is that the, the Big Bang, there was a something before the Big Bang. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That's yeah. right. There were probably Big Bangs happening all the time, even as we speak. But there was a beginning, created. Doctor, and that's where that's God. See, he's saying the ultimate beginning before the, the ultimate be, be, before bang. the thing before the Big Bang, before that, before that, there had to be a greater power uh, that that got it all rolling. But who who created the greater power? Exactly. Well, it just appeared. We don't know. Well, we physicists only deal with what we can measure. See, and we're going that's to be it. Measuring radiation from the pre-Big Bang universe. It's not his job. It's a new satellite to be launched in five to eight years. Yeah, it's like asking a priest. You know, what about string theory? He's going to be like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we think the string theory is the ultimate theory, the final theory. The I theory like that it. Einstein My string the theory, theory is: you see a string, your sheets are getting dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me, Doctor Kako. I know you have to go. You only had ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, read my book. It's called Physics of the Impossible. Have it's you ever seen Physics swore? of the Impossible? Wait, we got Danny wants in real fast. Danny, well, speaking of Physics of the Impossible, Dr. Kaku, uh, when is uh, when is that show going to air on Discovery or History? Uh, December on the Science Channel. Twelve episodes I'm hosting on teleportation, starships, warp drive, <gasps> yes. parallel universes, ray guns, Death Stars, planet busters, everything you've ever wanted to know about Star Trek explained in December we on will, the Science we, Channel. We will raise our psi cues. Uh, yes. I will I got, a I, quick question, actually, for Dr. Kaku. Do you feel that if uh, if this Mars, uh, excuse me, the moon mission is successful, uh, do you think that'll fuel any uh, any kind of uh, speculation that maybe a uh, a probe to Europa might be sent out any time oh. within our lifetime? Uh, well, I think it would give added uh, impetus to a, a probe to Europa, a moon of Jupiter, which is covered with ice but may have an ocean underneath the ice. And that ocean could be actually room temperature. And there could oh. be, who knows, sea monsters maybe uh, swimming underneath the ice cover of Europa. Wow. That's a game changer, too, because we once thought you had to be close to the sun. Because it Europa does, is ice covered in a far away just want to keep sun, playing happen. around. Because it does seem like the technology does, in fact, in, exist uh, You know, for some kind of ice-melting probe. I know that the uh, the the surface ice on Europa is probably miles thick, but it does seem like we're getting close, if not already have the technology to you know to burrow through it and kind of get to the uh, the the liquid ocean under there. That's right. NASA has designed for a submarine, a uh, submarine to float into the ocean oh, of Europa. Cool. It's that just a matter of cost. These are very expensive probes. Jeez. Again, they cost maybe yeah. uh, fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a pound to put them wow. out there to Jupiter. But hey, that's nothing compared to the trillions being dumped into the economy right now. Do you believe there's pe other people out there? people uh yeah i think maybe not in our solar system but i think in outer space uh there probably are people looking back at us wondering oh, wondering whether or not there's any life on the earth we're alone uh, probably no intelligent life on the earth anyway yeah and you think they're just the same thing as us same societies and the whole thing same structure that they just boom well, we physicists believe that there are type 1, type 2, type 3 civilizations out in space. Uh, type 1 would be planetary. Type 2 is stellar like Star Trek. Uh, type 3 would be Star Wars and, and galactic civilizations. On that scale, we're type 0. Uh, we, we're not even a planetary Jeez, civilization yet. So in outer space, there could be type 1, type 2, type 3 civilizations, perhaps 100,000 to a million years more advanced than us, in fact. Mm. Wow. Yeah, until they get rid of things like Maury and, uh, yeah. you know, you with the stars, do you have like a that. Opie and we can't show. advance. <laughs> It'll be an Anthony show, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Doctor, do kidding? you ever swear? Like, if you discover something like amazing, do you, like, do you guys go, holy fuck balls, <laughs> e equals yeah. MC square oh, up in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. We jump up and down and swear. I mean, when I, when I discovered string field theory, I was just jumping up and down until, like, 5 o'clock in the morning, checking and rechecking all the equations to make sure that everything worked out right. It worked. And uh, it's, it's one of the foundations of string theory now. Damn. Did you celebrate with a little, like, uh, champagne? What did you do? <laughs> 
we don't get drunk. Uh, that's what we position. He calls well, Stephen. That's, that's, that's why they know what they know. They don't, they don't go he calls, and get drunk. He calls Stephen Hawking and said, take that, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I'll I shove it. that in your piano, nigga. <laughs> I got you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Dr. Michu Kaku uh, described the whole moon thing we're, we're doing today yeah. as a money shot. Yeah, you know what the, uh, that term comes from, right, Dr. Yeah. Michu? He knows. Yeah, Haku? Hollywood, uh, like in well, Deep Impact, the money uh, shot was when Manhattan gets covered with water. It's a, it's a part <laughs> so of Hollywood. We didn't see that money shot this time. It, it's a very faint uh, explosion. On he the still doesn't side. understand where money and, shot comes and, from. And, and, that's that's yes. the porn industry, my friend. They they use the term money shot. Do you laugh? Do you laugh at things like Nostradamus and the? In the end of the world theories, the 2012 oh, yeah. uh, things you know, like that. Do you laugh at things like that? Well, when I was a kid, I used to read everything about the paranormal, you know, Bigfoot and, and witches and demons and Nostradamus. And then I got disillusioned because then I began to realize that Nostradamus in the original is all metaphorical poetry. Mm. You know, a dictator rises in the East, uh, a nation rises in the West. What the hell does that mean? Nonsense. It's, it's all nonsense. And so 2012, the, the, this 2012 thing means nothing. Yeah, so anyway, as a kid, I begin to figure out that a lot of the stuff that amazes people today, if you really think about it, there's less than meets the eye, I mm. think. I think science is even, is more fantastic than any fiction. And so is in Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so the 2012 thing is all bullshit? Uh, I think so. If you look at the Mayan calendar, uh, it's in cycles. Uh, one cycle ends in 2012, but another cycle begins. Oh, but I guess someone thought they could make a lot of money saying that the cycle ends in 2012. <laughs> yeah, and then not bring up the new beginning one. Yeah. And do you notice every time there's a black president in a movie, it's the end of the world? <laughs> Danny Glover is the president in this movie 2012. Can you believe that? Can you effing believe that, Doctor? Every deep impact. Uh, anytime there's a black president, it's the end of the world. What's the other one? <laughs> Fifth Element. Fifth Element had it, yep. A, yeah, the, cro yeah. a big cross-eyed like black president. Guy. Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> and it's the end of the damn world. Right. Oh man, that's amazing. This is I, I love this. I love outer space, man. Yeah, I love outer space. Go to a planetarium then. I don't. I don't love it like that anymore. No? You, you take a girl on a date. Hey, do you have a girlfriend, dude? <laughs> I have a wife. You have a wife. Yeah, he's a married man. Oh my, how, I, I, that's so curious to see. Like, how do you do you bore her, or she's into? Is she also <laughs> a physicist too? And I don't mean that you're boring, but I mean you know your life is it's what you what you I what like you to think you just married a waitress. Yeah, that, that, what you do is it's quite a struce, doctor. It's, it's 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 very difficult to understand this stuff. So. I mean, well, is you your know, woman into it too? Patrice is basically saying you must be a bore at a party. No, I mean no, <laughs> but I mean he got a wife, and and is she into the thing too? Into physics? Well, you know, art and science are extremely close together. Uh, mathematics is almost like poetry, and if you think about it, uh, physicists are like artists, except instead of playing with paint, we play with equations. So it's very creative. It's very imaginative. And uh, so you're saying you're a freak. Don't let that. that don't let the numbers fool you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's, he's kind of, meaning you. You're a lot more exciting than 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 what people would imagine. Oh, it's fantastic stuff. You know, we're talking about the meaning of the universe. We're talking about the ultimate constituents of matter. We're talking about cracking the big one, the big equation that makes the whole universe uh, go. The ultimate theory. I mean, what could be more exciting than that? Hey, hey before we let you go, I mean, Ant and Patrice were going at it pretty good this morning about uh, the Earth. Are, are humans going to be able to figure this whole Earth thing out, or are we going to destroy ourselves? Well, I think it's a race against time. I think in a hundred years' time, uh, there's going to be two trends in the world. One trend is toward the creation of a planetary civilization. That's called Type 1. But on the other hand, we have the forces of chaos, uh, global warming, nuclear proliferation. And it's not clear which of the two forces will dominate. But, uh, yeah, there are two contending trends in the world right now. And by 2100, I think uh, it'll be settled as to whether or not we're going to have an age of Aquarius, a Type 1 civilization, or whether we wind up in chaos. I I seem to think uh, humans are very adaptable. I think if we run out of a resource, uh, it forces us to use uh, our noggins, and, and, and the next generation does come up with a solution that the last generation created a problem for. Uh, it's been that way uh, since we've really um, crawled out of the woods, and um, I, I don't think we can truly destroy ourselves or destroy this planet. I think everything adapts. Uh, and, and and I I truly believe that future generations have and will continue to fix the problems of the past generation. 
Well, I, like so. I think the Earth will survive. I'm not sure humans will survive, but the Earth will certainly survive. Mm. Luckily, we yeah. what luckily Carl? none of us are vampires. <laughs> we gonna be dead anyway. <laughs> what did, Fifty years, I'm out of here. What did Carl say about that? It said the Earth's gonna be fine. It's humans that are fucked. Yeah, humans Something don't like believe. that. Yeah. There's a famous Carl. And do you think there's an afterlife, sir? Is there anything that oh, happens? Oh, don't to ask us? him this. This is where it, it freaks everybody out. Go ahead, <laughs> tell him. Tell him. Meet you. Well, I tend to think that there's no measurable evidence of a soul or an afterlife. We know we scientists have looked for it. We've tried to weigh the soul of the body before and after death. We see no difference in the weight. Uh, we see no reproducible evidence. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means it's not reproducible, not testable, not measurable, yeah. not falsifiable. Sci and he's a scientist, so he looks for that kind of proof thing. A spiritual thinking is something completely different. Do you have any unconventional non-physicist belief? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in anything that do scary movies scare? Do you believe in anything that's not <laughs> scientific that you go, man, the rest of my colleagues would, would think I'm a fool? Are you superstitious at all? First of all, I love to see the movies. Uh, I have a great time watching magic shows and ghost shows, but my attitude is that I think we can reduce magic to physics. Uh, as I'm saying, <laughs> 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 yeah, they ruined yeah. all this one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have fun. <laughs> I love it. We need people like that. I though. love this guy. Just believe that the I guy think, is I, making I, things appear. Come I, on. I think I'm quite reasonable, but I don't put hats on my bed. You know what I mean? I, I think I'm like reasonably not superstitious. Yeah. I knock but, wood, you know. I yeah, go yeah, knock wood if someone says something. Excuse you know. me, I got to interrupt because we got Stephen Hawking calling the show. Uh, oh, that's no. impossible. You, Kaku. No, I'm telling you, it's, uh, Mr. Hawking, it's a pleasure. Okay, well, I got to get off the phone now, guys. Okay. okay. It's been directing on the yeah. show. Okay, oh, so I gotta take off. Yeah. All right, thank you, Doctor <laughs> Kaku. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. He, said, he, like, he said, "I'm not talking to yeah, that person." He's like, "All right, I'm gonna be." He's like, "I'm part of a bit now. I'm done. I'm, do you interview understand? over." He's basically saying, "Do you really understand who yeah. I am? I'm a scientist, I'm not you idiot." Be part of a shock shock bit. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the bit. I'm trying to figure out the fucking universe, oh. and you're telling duty jokes. Oh. Some guy with a wacky fucking little doctor fucking. Hello, Dr. Kaku. <laughs> Why? You, you know you have the name Cock in your name? Ah, Kaku, get it? Cock? <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Yeah, um, yeah. One of the one of the brightest human beings on the planet is yeah. sort of a friend of ours, and we're gonna ruin that. Yeah, we'll, we'll destroy we'll that. that. Uh, no, thing. no. Who else is talking to that motherfucker? You know, <laughs> everybody today. Oh, he's big today. Yeah, this oh, moon really? thing is big. Oh, the moon thing. They're big calling shit. this guy up uh, like crazy now. All right, why don't we take another break? We gotta play a little catch up. When we get back, uh, fucking Patrice wants to let it out a little bit about this Letterman thing. Yeah, and, it, and this thing is still hot, so we're gonna do that a little bit. Hey, what the fuck is the story with Doctor Phil? Oh, let's get into Doctor Phil. Yeah, that, too. cause that's uh, let's get into all new shit. Let's get into Australia and Doctor Phil. Yes, Australia, Australia. With the blackface and Harry Connick Jr. Clear the happy. field. Clear the field. That's what we'll do. Clear. Supposedly, someone uh, tried killing themselves at the DC Improv. I don't know if it's true, and I don't know if the DC Improv wants us talking about it. Nah, who knows? But that guy never called back, so who the fuck knows is right. Patrice will be there next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for everybody in the Washington, D.C. area. Comedy can be changed to physics. <laughs> you take the joke apart with string theory. Boy, he is just a serious guy. Serious all the time. You try to talk about anything, like, <laughs> he'll just change it right into physics. <laughs> you think he loves uh, physics? He loves it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> so, uh, let's start with Letterman, Patrice. Now yeah. I guess Letterman's wife's kind of pissed off is the latest news. Oh, because hell. she wanted a public apology. That's sort of what she was asking from David. What -do -do -do. David Letterman. And uh, Letterman did do just that, but also turned it into a uh, over-the-top, great, funny monologue. He's and now she has a real problem with that. Doesn't she understand that he had to do it that way? How else was he supposed to do it? My, my issue, I was talking to Steve today only thing i'm i have a problem with one look um i have discussions with my girl about these things mm. women are gonna have to understand that guys need side like that we need that or we need the idea of that somehow yeah to like say dave i understand like just don't make me look like a fool which is probably what she did because she knows i think that lady knows her role because yeah. of the way she looks i mean no f well it is offensive but she is a fucking mess she is homely 
And Dave is not like some sexy dude. He's sixty something years old. But he's got. But he's a dude. He's got the power behind and, him. And and, and, dude, and, right. and and like I said, I say this all the time. You don't see a Tostagi's beer woman. You don't see a eighty year old most interesting woman in the world <laughs> with young guys. Old women are finished. Old <laughs> old men get to be cool dudes who. Just fucking have owls on their hands and they tell stories. All right, wait, well, I want to slow you down. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think that is? Why can't the women be the ones that because are women the old have broads with the young guys? Their value. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, she looks like Mitch Hedberg. Oh shit! <laughs> now, so, look, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> women, uh, why? Why this doesn't happen when they, when they get older? Men. Um, and, and what women usually find attractive about men is very personality based. It's, uh, being funny. It's being interesting. Men it's, don't get it's pussy because we have a dick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Women get everything because they, have, they a have a vagina. And the vagina does not age as well as the men's personality. personality. I can still things. stay we interesting. Get, we can get wisdom as we get older. We could get even more personal. We could get more personality. They can't get better pussies. But where did as that they all get start? Is what I'm getting at. The Why could it be fucking caveman? That's so that, right. so, that physicist. So, right. <laughs> so we go back to the caveman. Why wasn't it uh, the opposite way? Here's what happened. I'm a I'm, hunter gatherer. Yeah, here's what. Here's what happened. Break it down for us, Patrice. The day in the year one. Okay, whatever that is. All right. The year uh, billion. The year rock. It the was year probably rock. just uh, the year yeah. apple. The year rock. The year stream. One when, rock. When the first, and imagine how great pussy had to be, with, and this is pre-Brazilian waxes, pre-shaving. Oh, man. This oh, was shit. just a horrible, hairy mess. <laughs> mess. Barely find it. The <laughs> first time, let's say this is, let's just say a number like 20,000, okay, years ago. When guys found out that put, that they would give up everything they have for that hairy mess, uh -huh. that day, men have been striving to understand how to compete, get that thing, and not have to give up his rocks. Mm -hmm. we're, we Say we were 20,000 years behind pussy. Men have been elevating and stretching, and women have been dismissing how much we've we, we're into pussy mm -hmm. so they stayed the same since year one they've never changed they just go guys gonna give up all his money all his rocks all his fucking whatever the fuck is valuable at the time pelts and we've been trying to figure out how to how to change that yeah and we've been doing a good job we're we're, almost, we're probably only five thousand years behind pussy <laughs> five thousand years behind only about five thousand years we, we we've been <laughs> <laughs> Five thousand years to pussy. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> We're, getting We're still there. behind. Is that on the Mayan calendar too? <laughs> when we will reach? Oh, pussy. the year five thousand twelve, nigga. Pussy's finished. <laughs> is that is but that why we invented gay? Because we just gave up fucking chasing some pussy. Guys gave up. <laughs> they just said, you know what? I, I don't have time to catch up to pussy. I talked to a gay guy, and he says he fucks a lot, and he said it like with this way. I go, whoa, well, how does it? What what does that mean? Like, yeah. And he he all he did to explain. He goes, "We're guys, gay guys fuck a lot, cause we're two men. We you, just we, you get bored and you'll fuck. You, you just you just be like, I'm bored. What do you want to do? Two nah, dudes put is your like dick in my ass. You know, anytime we have that feminine thing, is we make it up. So my thing is with with her, it it she probably knows her role. She probably just said, listen, don't make me look like a fucking idiot. Don't do it like this. Now, now Dave did the Kaiser Sosa thing, which you got to respect. He said, nigga, really? I'll kill myself before I let you yeah, that's what he run did. my life. Yeah, yeah. And it was a smart thing. And I know he talked to his girl before. He's like, look, baby, you know me. She knows him. You know what I'm saying. Sometimes I stay. He got a bedroom upstairs at the fucking Ed Sullivan Theater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where he's probably you think fucking these young broads and doing an Ed Sullivan impression. Eh, hey, really, big. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you think, <laughs> Coming to my dick is the next intern. <laughs> you think they dismantled the bedroom by now? <laughs> you think that's oh, that shit's time. still up there, nigga. <laughs> you think, yeah. he, pulls, he pulls down a, a dictionary. <laughs> that shit turns around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, behind his secret <laughs> fucking wall, yeah. Alfred, his butler's there, <laughs> making sure it's, it's him. So basically, he uh, he shit. fucked up a little bit. But here's here's the thing that bothers me about women who who are against Letterman on that on this issue. 
tw- she's been with the guy 29 years, right? Okay, and this this woman, and I, I'm trying to look at her and envision her young. She she was never hot. Mm. Dave did this because he's been with her 29 years, and he he she finally gave him a baby and all that shit. But I think that he did it because of how we are. We're never faithful and we're never committed because of the girl. It's a, it's something we do for us to see if we could be mature. It's a it's a it's a maturity thing. It's not like a I love you so much here's thing. It's like you know what, bitch, you you deserve marriage. <laughs> so he what what he did, or what or the the, the twenty nine years he did it for her. But my thing is with women who go, I deserve something for this twenty nine years. It's the difference between investing in a house and investing in the stock market. Different investment. When you invest in a house. You still live there. You that's your home. It's value to you as you're living. Mm-hmm. And the stock market has no value until you cash in. Uh-huh. Really, it's a gamble. It's a cash thing. out. You cash out. Sorry about that. And, and so what I'm saying is, this bitch has been with Letterman for 29 years. There's value this in that. <laughs> homely woman, and, and and the thing I keep saying this, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is because it matters to men how you look. <clears throat> Your look as a woman is your value system almost a lot to a dude. It's, it's rare that a guy marries a woman because of all her other attributes. It just mm-hmm. it just is. So I'm saying that they think she should get some type of uh, money or she gets some type of credit for being with Letterman for 29 years as, as if her fucking life has been foul for those 29 years. She's been living a lottery for 29 years. Right. And looking like that. So, you know what, miss? Shut the fuck. <laughs> Dave don't have to apologize for shit. Your life is the apology. You should apologize to Dave for looking how you look. <laughs> and expecting the king. There's only been a few kings of late night. Mm-hmm. One, uh, Parr. Jack Parr. Yeah. Two, Milton Burrow. Not even late night. That's prime time. Yep. Johnny Carson is the Johnny. second. He went through a few women. Maybe Merv Griffin once in his motherfucking Merv life. Merv Griffin. Exactly. I'm trying to find yeah, somebody. Merv Griffin so, with Johnny so Carson. So basically, Jack Parr in agreement. Yeah. Johnny Carson. Right. No black guys, by the way. And David. That's racism. No, well. Arsenio uh, had was Arsenio. okay for a minute. He Arsenio. made a run at it. <laughs> Arsenio he made had a run a at it. Now, now we got Monique on BET. Monique. 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 Hey, y'all. Holla. So. Magic this- Johnson okay. did a, a good run. Oh, my <laughs> God. Was that funny? <laughs> fucking asshole. Is this the gun guy? <laughs> yeah, that's the gun guy. <laughs> Sneaky <laughs> racist yeah. shit, you my son five, of a bitch. My 5'11 connection. 5'11 <laughs> <laughs> guy in the hay So it's only been three superhero motherfuckers Mm -hmm. in late night. Dave is one of them. And then maybe you put Leno. uh, That's an argument. But but Dave is one of the top five greatest in what he does of all times. And he's with this woman. And this woman is not a top one billion of all time. Nothing. She's with I don't give a fuck what you deliver. My girl does a lot of shit for me. But she pretty. Yeah. I'd fuck an ugly bitch that do shit for me. Mm-hmm. That don't count. Every ugly bitch want to do something for you. If you got a million dollars. This chick is on the news looking like she look. With that dead hair, that dead gray black hair. I'll never do Letterman again, evidently. But uh, yeah, I, I, I right. can't even explain it without offending anybody. Shut, lady, shut your mouth. He's he's What he's doing is trying to protect you. He's trying to protect it, and he's taking all the brunt of the of what he did. Yeah. He's like, I fucked up. He's not even saying, listen, this is what he could do. He could go, look, bitch, you know the two million I was gonna pay this nigga for extorting me? I'll just give it to you. And I'm gonna tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a box. They put a box next to him of a picture of his wife and go, ladies and gentlemen, look. <laughs> you wouldn't get your dick stuck on the side. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Who can blame me, nigga? <laughs> Nancy Grace, bitch, you look, you, you look better than her. So, I fuck you. Why you talking me? So you, yeah, you're saying that Dave pretty much should be able to have, especially you fuck- pre-marriage, whatever, whatever the fuck he wanted. Dave, and why did he marry her? I told you. Yeah. He could fuck have- her. 
Why is he doing her a favor? Because she, dudes if he's able are like to get that, all these, th these uh, women like that. Dudes and that's are loyal. Thing. Because pussy and loyalty are two different things, man. Mm. The, it, it has, you know, if a woman, if, if your woman cheats on you, it's because of something you did. If my girl, my girl's fed up with me right now. If she went and got some side dick, it'd be because she's fed up with me. Side pussy got nothing to do with her. <laughs> it's, it's you. Most women you would just argue that point, pussy. but okay. <laughs> if my girl goes, I'm gonna fuck another dude. It's because it's she'll, first of all, the dude will go, "You got a boyfriend, baby?" Yeah, but when uh, you ask her, a woman goes, I "I'm gonna fuck you." You got a girlfriend, bitch? What? The can you not spoil this time? <laughs> yes, we're very happy. I'm getting ready to marry the bitch. <laughs> can, you, can you suck my dick and shut up? <laughs> Why the fuck you asking me questions about my life? Don't spoil this. Now, my girl fuck another dude. Holy shit. It's because it's an opening left that I made by her being... Uh, feeling inadequate about our relationship. Mm -hmm. So she meet a guy and it's like, we're not having this and we're not doing, and she fucks. And it's like, she has to convince herself based on it being her fucking against me. Y y you feel right, me? Right, yeah. It it's just like, it look it, when a woman, we had this argument, dude, very recently. And it's like, if I got caught cheating on her as opposed to she get caught cheating on me. As she get caught cheating on me, she gets demoted down <laughs> Back to hoe. <laughs> she gets demoted back down to where she began. And where, me, where, is, she, my, where is she now? She's she's she has she's a five star general. If this uh, was an army, she's the queen. Yeah. She's it. Just about the queen. There's nothing so, else. Yeah. She's she's it. If I don't marry my girl, I'm never getting married. Right. If I don't marry my girl that I'm with now, I'll never get married. So yeah, she's like the queen. She's it. Okay. And she goes back to lowly girl. She goes back, girl. give me my keys. All the way down. But she doesn't have to. I said, look, to stay in my life in any capacity, you'll now be a hoe again. I'm taking my keys. Bitch, you got to call. And if you call, I'm not sure I'm going to call you back. <laughs> you got to go back to those days <laughs> where you had to shut the fuck up. She said, if, if I get caught cheating... Well, what if you get caught cheating? I go, what do you demote me down to? <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. All you do is put me back where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you being a hoe. Either way, you what? back to being a hoe. Are you writing this book or not? <laughs> what if, yeah, what, yeah, you better be writing this book. What if you're demoted to just out of her fucking life? <laughs> that, that's, that's fair. That's it. But if we're going to be, if she, but see, that's why I said, She's either either she's a, a downgraded, then she or she can go. go. But then, no matter what, she'll not have you and be out back in the scene being a hoe trying, trying to, to trying find to, somebody that and and here it goes back to caveman days. <laughs> I can find another woman that wants to be loved, that wants to be held, that wants money. That wants to call me every fucking second. Where's she gonna just go find love? She can't. She can't go fuck you, nigga. I'm going to find love. No, you. She you has can to get go fucked. find dick. She's gonna get find. And dick. hopefully it turns into love. But it's still under my control. That's why this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring it back to Letterman. <laughs> bring it back to Letterman. And, and it's, it's not, it didn't leave Letterman because I was gonna uh, wrap yeah, it up I, in I, a, I, wrap it up in a bow. Here we go. His. This woman that he's with married, she absolutely understands that. She's been around for 29 years, not married to him. And no other bitch. She's a soldier. So he finally gave her a baby and finally married her. And all she ever asked, all she ever asked, because Letterman is, is a trooper. You know he's told her these things, is don't embarrass <laughs> me. Don't fucking embarrass me. So she probably wants something like, Dave, you're making, because put it this way. She's in Connecticut. She has rich friends. They keep up appearances. They, she has to do things so she doesn't look like a fucking fool at the Tupperware parties, man. Yeah. So it's like Dave has to go, I'm so sorry, baby, to her. So that her friends can go. She can go to her friends. See? She knows that nigga getting his so, dick sucked up in that fucking Ed Sullivan theater. So what does Letterman lose in the end? He He loses liars from his fan base, but he gains a whole lot of dudes. Mm. He gets dudes and more dudes that say, ah, fuck old Letterman. But That's... now he getting his dick sucked, and he said he pulled the Kaiser Sosa, yeah, where this pussy-ass nigga tried to extort him, 
And he says, you know what? I'll destroy my whole family before I let you do that yeah, shit. Yeah. Dave is a dude now. <laughs> He's a gangster. He's a dude. Is he a gangster? It depends on how he behaves. Right. Now, now, if she says, I'm done with this marriage, does David Letterman lose? He loses money. Well, but he should. He's got he's got enough money though. So does, does he, he really lose, lose there? What does he lose? I'm I'm asking that question to you. A fucking. Unlo does he lose that love that he wants? He doesn't want love. He wants his dick sucked up in a in a makeshift hidden bedroom. You said it's different though. <laughs> My girl. What if he really loves her? He don't. So he doesn't lose anything. Not a thing. I, if what I lose with my girl is what m men need, I lose. Like when we first date, when you first date, the pie is all pussy. It's a pussy pie. <laughs> <laughs> then you re you you replace it with you replace it with with trust. A little piece now is trust. Mm. Then the trust part gets bigger. The need part gets bigger. The fucking the the, the thing where it's like you know you're my companion. All that yeah, shit yeah, gets yeah. bigger. The pussy pie gets smaller. So this woman is pussies left them. Their relationship a long time just, ago. As far as pussy goes, there's only a few crumbs left. It's, it's, have, it's pussy so, crumbs. So you could have an illustration and use a pie chart of <laughs> of what happens over so, the years where it's first. Right. Here's the key: red <laughs> equals pussy. And the whole fucking circle is just red, red at the beginning. And then, okay, here's green is uh, trust. It's a little sliver now in there. It's it's almost like, you know, um, Hispanics and blacks in my neighborhood. <laughs> that would be the little <laughs> sliver. But it's okay like because you still have a lot of red. Yeah, and yeah. So you're not even worried. And those colors are contingent on what you need in your life. Mm -hmm. So it's like all I need from a bitch when I meet is some pussy. You're adjusting I don't your... need that much trust. A little sliver yeah. of trust is, hey, bitch, don't put the shit on Twitter. Don't put the shit on my, you know, a you're, little bit of trust, but then it builds to be a relationship. You're adjusting so. your pussy portfolio. Yes. You're diversifying, <laughs> diversifying. your pussy portfolio. Because you, <laughs> you can't keep it all in pussy over the course of the relationship. you got to diversify. But I think that's what Patrice is trying to tell the guys. Make sure you make it mostly a pussy pie. Keep, it in, keep, keep all your assets in pussy. Because once you start diversifying into high-risk things like trust and relationship and, and companionship, uh, that's when you and get that's burned. when Dave married her mm. is because mm. her she, she became so much more. She probably knows really fucked up things about Dave. He he she has level 12 clearance. <laughs> and I think other than the fact of physically what she looks like, I don't know what kind of person she was to Dave. But for 29 years, she'd been around. She'd yeah. been around. So that means she's a fucking trooper. To be around and not be married. And that means Dave said, because women are like, David, I don't have a child. It's like, bitch, look, I've been married. Go on, go fuck yourself. It's like you. You bring a bitch <laughs> up in the crib. They like, oh, my God, I'm going to marry him. And you're like, I hear your voice, bitch. I hear it in your head. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to enjoy my pool. And you're going to go ask Keith the cop for a towel. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> and I don't. It, it, and that's what it is. And that's how Letterman had her for 29 years. Oh, My girl been around for nine years, man. Nine, ten years almost, man. And, mm -hmm. and I ain't married her yet. It, dude, it, when I marry my girl, man. It's going to be for her. It's, it's just going to be because she put in you're fine with the way things are right now like if Man, it would stay like that forever you I'll wouldn't give a shit right introduce that bitch as my girlfriend when i'm 72 right this is my girlfriend yeah but for me i know that for her she can't take that shit really being a girlfriend for 27 years so i would marry her for her when it got to that place he did that that woman wait does she un she understands that though and she's gonna accept that Knowing that you're just marrying her because she doesn't want to really get married. Her. She only if I if I wrote a will, right? She'd be happy and said, "All right, look, you got my shit." If I, I die, pass. you got my shit. What about now, what about having a kid with you? Would that like satisfy her? That would make her feel like she I couldn't just bounce. Hmm. Right now, here's what it is. Why does she stay with you? Why does any <laughs> woman stay with any guy? I'm, just, I'm asking about you. <laughs> Why does she stay with you then? Because we're... I mean, I've seen you guys together. You're a really good couple. We love each other. Yeah. But we're not Which is very different than what you say on the show. But we're not together because of her. Our relationship doesn't survive because of her reason and her logic. It really survives because of mine. If, 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 if I was like her, we'd be finished.
So you have to have that logic. I have to explain to her certain things that she feels. Other women, a lot of women get married. Look at how marriage is destroyed. We've been together for a long time. This mm -hmm. bitch been around a long time. Mm -hmm. it, it's still strong because I don't, I don't do things to resent her. I don't do things that I don't want to do. I don't, if, if I don't feel like getting married, she wants to move in with me. She keeps hinting about moving in. Uh -huh. I, I go, I'm not ready. It's too small. The house too small. I, don't, she, I can't see you like this. She pretty much lives there though. She could come in anytime she wanted. The other day she just popped right in because she's been feeling I've been cheating on her. She, she feels it uh -oh. like, because she, she calls and I might not call her back or she texts. I don't text her right back. And I, here's why I fucked up and I'll tell everybody this shit. <laughs> trust has nothing to do whether you're trustworthy or not. Trust is a routine that you stick with. If you switch oh your routine, God, write this fuck. <laughs> if you switch your routine, your fucking trust is gone. Trust level so goes down, right? Here's what I fucked up. I started calling her and, and answering her text immediately. No matter what, I drop everything. She's been feeling a little bit funny, but it's not because of me, really. It's because she she might have gained a couple of pounds. She's feeling a little her her mojo is a little low right now. Her swagger. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to, in the last few months, a month or two, just uh, cater to her the fact that she's feeling like that. But what that did was put me in a position to have to answer the fucking phone every time the bitch called. Now you yeah you set so yourself I, up. So I I set myself up with a bad routine. So she came by the house. She got the keys. All I ever said to her is, don't ever drop in trying to catch me doing some shit. So I think the other day she dropped in to try to catch me doing some shit. And I was just sitting in there holding my balls and watching whatever. <laughs> and she come in there and you could feel her energy go, I feel better. Because she. it was an odd time for her to drop in. And you were Very just odd. sitting there. Just doing what innocent, I'm doing. Innocent Patrice. Because I'm not greedy. Yeah. That's why I gave her a key, so to keep me from thinking I'm gonna have a bitch in there. You're, you're like an old school king, man. Oh, like, God damn! It's, it's just, so interesting. You might be the last king. There's man. so many fucking facets to, yeah. to Patrice's like relationship stuff. That whole thing with fucking, you know, the the trust thing is routine. It's not it's trust. Not trust. It's just give somebody the fact is if I call you, man, you call me back every time. Uh huh. I can hinge on that routine. If you do some weird shit, like, wait a minute, Anthony don't do overtime? What kind of shit is that? But, but now it has nothing to do with me being untrustworthy. It just happened to be that. You changed but now the routine. there's a lack of trust, even though the trust tank is still Cause full. Because the, the routine. And, yeah. and, and I teach her, I tell her <laughs> exactly what these things are so that I go, look, sweetie, I give you something to latch on to. I give you a routine. She she texts me a couple of times. And then here's what I did outside of the routine to help her out. My phone wasn't working in L.A. For some reason, AT&T was like, fuck L.A., you know? <laughs> I gave her the number to my motherfucking hotel room so she could just call my hotel room mm. so she don't feel fucked up. Mm -hmm. Here you go. That, now the bitch. Hotel. Bring, hello, <laughs> I think it's the maid. <laughs> bitch, I said not today. I'm just calling the blah, 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 blah. She, it's just, it's, <laughs> and that was the only reason she was calling to check up on you. Yeah, but she so won't, she, you know, but look, man, I don't blame her, man. I'm on the road. I'm this and that. I talk shit. I don't blame her. And I'm trying to, you know, appease that part of her. Mm -hmm. But, but the Letterman situation, this is, I, it, see, cheating is not necessarily you have to go and fuck another woman. A lot of times that shit will help if you can just discuss it. Let I know Letterman discussed it with her because she's been around. Letterman thinks how I think and thinks how you think, uh, Anthony. Yeah. Is that you? If a chick is in your life, you're gonna explain to her, and you're willing to have her walk out of your life based on your theory about not being unhappy anymore. Dave, it took him years to marry this woman, man, mm -hmm. and now and she knows he get because here's another thing. You know how my girl, it's the two things. You meet a girl who dresses like a hoe. You meet a girl who was a hoe. Now, yeah. you, now you with her. I mean, let's understand that hoe is in the DNA. Same thing with a nigga. You meet me, I had 12 bitches. You know, you know it's a, it's a, there's an affinity for me to want to have 12 bitches. So I'm fighting 12 bitches and you're fighting hoe. Dave Letterman is fighting getting his dick sucked by young interns because she used to be 
one. Yeah. Yeah. So she knows the animal she's dealing with. They always think that they can change them, though. See, that's and the that's, thing. And you know what? Here goes back to the caveman shit. Change them with what ability? What did they learn? The, the pussy. The pussy. I'm going to change it with pussy. <laughs> and that's really, why we're bitch? still chasing the pussy. We're still chasing it, but here's, 5, here's the 5,000 years thing. behind, that's it? 5,000 years, right. we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out, and I'm going to tell you what's going to take it back to where women are like the I Am Legend monsters. <laughs> <laughs> if men just say, I'm not, if men say, I'm not fucking women, if we act with oh our dick God. like women act with their pussy, if a girl goes, hi, how are you? And you go, hi. Can I buy you a drink? I I don't drink. Well, <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. And yeah. I, I just don't want to talk Look, right I'm now. Just I'm, I'm just sitting here, here relaxing. I want to be left alone. Bitches will lose it because they <laughs> have no skill to get dick <laughs> without having a pussy. <laughs> I'm a fat motherfucker naked. I'm um, telling you, I'm, I annoy myself. <laughs> I look at myself in the mirror and I go, why would a girl as pretty as my girl fuck me? She's up to something. But that's because I'm thinking on my awful level. Yeah. But at the end of the day, dude, I don't get pussy because of my physicality, man. So if, <laughs> if we could band together as men... And, and hold on to totally dick. Totally swear Shit. off a pussy for a while and see where that goes. It'll take 5,000 years for women to realize. Yeah, so we got to go 5,000 years no without dick. pussy. I can't get no dick. Something wrong here. Motherfuckers is holding on to dick. Once they figure out men have come together and don't give up dick, they'll be in deep shit. Man rape will go right skyrocket. <laughs> Man rape. <laughs> Give me your balls, nigga. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a and theory. She took me under yeah. the staircase. <laughs> it was horrible. She stuffed it in. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Used her fingers and shoved my limp cock inside there. <laughs> Pumped up and down. What would a woman do to get... How the fuck would a woman get dick from you if... if it, I mean, if you wasn't willing to give it up? Yeah. What would she do? You know what she do? Call you a faggot. <laughs> you must be gay. If Rosario Dawson started rubbing the pussy and say, hey, fat boy, come in here. And I go, nah. Mm -mm. You faggot. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you're gay. Then That's you, really? You. Then you would prove you're not. Then I would have. Exactly. You lose. You lose every what, time. bitch? So now we have to, be, we have to <laughs> exactly. put up with that. That insult. There, so have been, there, have been, there have been times you, you're laying in bed, you, you want a little pussy or something like that, and it's like, eh. Uh, tired, this and that, it's infinite. and you got to go like, all right, whatever. And and then there are other times where you're fucking like, you know, she might rub your leg a little bit and get things done. You're like, you know, something I would love to, but I am fucking exhausted. Mm. Mm. And you get like a now there's a problem. Who you been fucking? Why is that? What you been doing? It's not accepted. Yeah. But see, that's the, at the end of the day. Here's it not to keep but it's it's a godly thing. God has looked down favorably to men. They he hasn't given us anything that makes us suffer. The only thing that makes us suffer is the constant threat of other pussy when we're in a committed <laughs> relationship. We don't have periods, we don't have babies, we have nothing that women should respect that we suffer with. So when a woman wants dick and we go, no, she has the right to be suspicious, angry, rejected, and mad mm. because that's just, they don't believe in us. But when a woman goes, I got a headache, I'm on my period, I'm, I'm having emotional issues, we have to respect that as gospel. But there's nothing about us that they need to respect. All we are to them is dick, <laughs> but really all they are to us is pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You should stop there. It's perfect. <laughs> between, we got, let's take a quick break. God damn. You know, the beauty of this show, we went from string theory to yeah. uh, the pussy pie theory. Uh, pussy, <laughs> pussy pie. <laughs> right, I would Let love... me tell my theory on take the that, pussy pie. You, <laughs> what do you know on the pussy pie theory? By the way, uh, quickly, since you're getting, uh, we, we spoke about Dr. Kaku there for two seconds. Yeah. Dr. Steve, who we know loves Dr. Michio Kaku. They have a little problem, right? Oh, my God. Dr. Steve, Steve has a little problem with him? cannot stand him. Dr. Steve was uh, a, a physics guy mm -hmm. before he, he became a doctor. He's a genius when it comes to physics. 
and does not agree with Dr. Kaku on many things. So right now you know how to get Kaku off the phone. Just start doing a bit like yeah, that. Yeah. that. <laughs> He's involved and he goes, he goes, that was hilarious. He goes, in quote, a bubble bath of universes? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's one physicist. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck up with hey, your bubble fucking you know universe what? shit. It was better than my Dave Thomas theory, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Uh, Dr. Steve rules. The Colonel Sanders terrible. of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All That's right. layman's terms. Those are, those are terms we can understand from a physicist. Shut the Dr. fuck up. Dr. Steve, the layman's that's, physicist. Yeah, that's Dr. Steve's shut the fuck up theory. <laughs> the sun's hot, nigga. Quiet down. Shut <laughs> down with your bubble down. bath. <laughs> bubble bath space shit. The Jackson thing from Australia. We got to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. It'll be the last I thing I think we do not. today after the break. I know. Patrice O'Neill is uh, just a fucking funny dude, man. Love I hope having you guys Patrice know that by in. now. And Love it. He's playing the improv next weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the DC Improv. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes. You tweet that shit, right? Yes, Where are you going to be? Yeah, I'm a tweeter. Patrice's shows are fucking hysterical, and, and part of the fun is watching people first get the wrong impression <laughs> that, that Patrice is actually... I, I was watching his act, and, and it's... It's great because he'll fucking do some self-deprecating shit at the beginning and kind of bash guys. And the women are sitting there going, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah, and they're looking at their boyfriends at the tables like, that's right. You hear what he's saying? Mm -hmm. You're just softening it up. And then motherfucker turns around and not nothing any like worse than he was saying about what assholes guys are. Uh, uh, on occasion, but then the same girls that were backing Patrice up are sitting there like nose this in the air. This my, I don't like that. Mm, yeah. I don't like what he's saying. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's so fucking funny to watch the audience at Patrice's show. And do you make up half your shit as you go? I always want to ask you that. I make up, I, maybe I did I, ask I, you this. I'm, what I do is if you're if the crowd is beautiful, mm. it we we make up half the shit. I yeah. know that sounds a little That's, hokey. No, it's as a, a it's, comic, it's, that is that is so brave the, to be able to just go out there and go. I think I'm going to make people, half my people, shit up tonight. The people are very, That's the very, best comedy, very by important, the way. man. The, the people, yeah. they're a good crowd, dude. You just want to give them more, and you can you dude. can elaborate. And the word that's the, why we do it our radio show. That's why this is successful because <laughs> we make our shit up as we go. Yeah, you you we're not following some dumb radio scripts. So a lot of comics do though, unfortunately. Follow some dumb, you know, comedy. I, I wouldn't be able to do comedy no more if I fucking like. I knew if, I, you if I'm like, I mean, you got some ideas and stuff. I'm not, and, yeah, I mean, I'm not. And gonna some go-to material if you're like, you know yeah, what, yeah. the crowd's not. I'm not feeling these guys. If the tonight. crowd ain't beautiful, then I'm. I'm like, then you got to uh, go to your stuff. E equals MC uh, Square. Nigga. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> there's uh, there's comedy theories. <laughs> <laughs> some bubble bath. Fucking there's bubbles crashing. Pluto Steve, is made Steve of Steve bubble. Steve said I'm wrong. You're actually on Twigger, not Twitter. Oh, oh now come oh, on. That we're all trying to get along today. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. You can't even have an open discussion without. Can we all just Get along I, ate, I ate fish with Steve from Babe Show, that yeah. piece of garbage. That motherfucker. Look at him, he's probably feeling bad. That was funny, Steve. Fuck him. That was all right. Probably was fuck him, the Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more break to do. <laughs> Bobo's here today. Uh, oh, Bobo is great. here today, too. I don't know. I got an idea with him. I noticed something about him, but we might not have time. Maybe we'll end with Bobo. It'll yeah, only take like five great. or ten minutes it's with better. him. better. To Friday, motherfucker. Explore my idea. Something I uh, picked up. It <laughs> better is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want out quick. Uh, Patrice O'Neill. It's his show today. We'll be back. I need it dry, meaning you don't pour the milk on the oatmeal after they prepare it. Yeah. So this Evan dummy that's been working with us for oh, way too long should, very be, snappy should be shown the fucking door. Oh my god, he's not even laughing at that. Comes back with dry oatmeal. As in, nothing in it. As in you pour it out of the thing to cook. Like granola? Not, who eats that? The poor. How do I eat dry oatmeal? <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, just take Patrice's microphone. Very nice, by the How way. How do I eat dry oatmeal, for real? I, I uh, got you your first oatmeal. Uh, yeah. Like I usually get it, I just ask for oatmeal with uh, There was everything. milk in it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look who comes in. Look yeah. who goes. Sam dress comes nice in too. What? You guys made him dress up? I, Sam did. These that. guys do <laughs> things behind the scenes, and they're hoping we acknowledge it, and we're just not gonna. So don't acknowledge that they're all dressed up and nice today. It's some weird thing Sam's doing behind the scenes. 
that I don't really feel like getting into. So you did this for no reason, by the way. <laughs> Which makes Sam very happy. Sam, it makes Sam very happy. Yeah, Sam just pulls these things for no fucking reason. Yeah, we noticed that you got a tie on and everyone's clean cut today. But you know what? I don't feel like going with the bit. Sorry. We got Patrice O'Neill talking about relationships and cavemen. And we got string theories and, and fucking apple pie theories and whatnot. So pussy pies. Pussy, pussy pie. Right. So why would you come back with dry oatmeal? I didn't Who get dry uh, oatmeal. The subsequent oatmeals. I used to have your first one. <laughs> why does he guy? talk like that? <laughs> like a wall. Who came back with the actual dry oatmeal? When I mean dry, it's right out of the box. Yeah, yeah, it's not even cooked. No, there's or anything. Right. It's just dry oatmeal. Who came back oatmeal. with that? I mean, I don't want to uh, point any fingers, but I believe uh, Kenny's replacement, Chris, uh, was responsible for that one. Uh oh, it's like it came out of a grain silo. That's where your oatmeal came from. Fresh out of the silo. Unbelievable. We don't need to spend a lot of time on my oatmeal. It's just bizarre because now we're this is the oatmeal diva. I know. I'm up to the fourth. I'm up to the fourth version uh, version of this. Yeah. Why don't you just What's wait? The till we're, why don't you just wait till we're off? At this point, get it yourself. Exactly. Now it's like fuck it. <laughs> Everything falls apart when Kenny's not here. Do you? And realize? now Kenny's gonna know that, and now I got I got to deal with an email. I'm so sorry that because of my absence, everything got fucked up. Too. Today, GH. But now this is my proprietary mix. I like it. So I need to know oh, if it's okay. I like oh, the combo. Wow. Have very you nice. have you noticed something, by the way, what? since Kenny hasn't been here? What? Past two days? What what? Have you noticed something here? What? What are you missing? Sandwich? I haven't eaten <laughs> in, two <days. laughs> in two days because I just know it'll get fucked up and I'll get pissed. So I'd rather just starve <laughs> See, and wait till I get home. And people always ask us why. Because Kenny just does things right every single fucking and time. And it's no, it's it's no bash amazing. against anybody, believe me, because no. it's, it's just... For me, going out and getting food is a problem because people we, are morons at the at the store. We can't. We have to be here the whole yeah, time. And, and Kenny just we knows. Have time to fucking take a leak. So what I usually get is the the toasted uh, 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 onion bagel. Mm -hmm. It's got to be toasted right, mm -hmm. and then the turkey with a slice of American cheese melted on top of it, and then that whole thing heated, placed in the fucking uh, bagel. And then wrapped up and brought in, and anyone, it's fine. Anyone could do that. I'm thinking. Nah, but no. But then again, I thought that. About the no, because sometimes I've got. Which could be the easiest thing to prepare for breakfast. A cold turkey sandwich. Yeah. I've gotten a uh, 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 an everything bagel with a like just a regular cold turkey and eight slices of fucking cheese. Right. You know, it sounds like diva, mm -hmm. but to me, I thought to myself, why get annoyed? I'm not even going to eat until so, Kenny comes back. But she, he's coming back Monday. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna starve all weekend. I'll starve. I won't even eat at home. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until Kenny gets back. No, I go I go home and I you know pig out at home. But I don't because I don't have to eat while I'm here. It's comfortable to, and, and very tasty. Right. But I, I'm like you know if it's gonna be a problem, fuck it. I I made a uh, video with Kenny's replacement yesterday. I kind of like this one. Yeah. I'm not going to promote all my videos, but that one I kind of like. Yeah, good one. Yeah, because yeah. I wanted to play you drop something with the guy, and oh. I, I needed to know the password because Kenny told me not to get in any strangers' cars unless I, they know the password. So I was really fucking when <laughs> like I... Like a child. <laughs> like a child. And then it was... I had to ask him, make sure he wasn't going to touch my wee wee. So, <laughs> did he? And he was so fucking annoyed with me. He <laughs> of course fucking hates he is. Me. He's not Kenny. He's not. Doesn't Kenny. have that. He dopey doesn't understand. Kenny. He didn't so, tour with dice for fucking no. ever. So the video is very uncomfortable. If you want to check it out on <clears> Open <throat> yeah. Radio on YouTube, Evan, get out of here. Thank right. you. Thanks for your efforts. I appreciate it. Whatever you do, <laughs> Sam. Whatever you do. Uh, no, actually. Uh, talking of food, I guess behind the scenes, all hell is breaking loose, Anthony. Yeah, there's things going on. And, and I, I heard a discussion. And I want to make it perfectly clear that me and Ant are bringing this to the air. Because these guys actually said, nah, 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 no, don't do this. No, no, no we go to the right, air. Blah, blah, blah. We go to the air. Yep. What's going on? Uh, oh, we, we said that E-Rock uh, takes pictures of Steve's breakfast every morning, yes. right? Yes. Iraq, right, yes. you've been doing that for a while. Yeah, for for months now. Yeah, I know. I, I've I've seen your pics on uh, your Twitter, and they're quite hefty breakfasts. And, and it's just funny. I mean, if you're going to use Twitter, that's the way to use it. Yeah, humiliate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's there for. <laughs> but he wasn't aware you were doing this. Well, he he uh -oh. knew he knew earlier on that uh, after the first time, I guess we mentioned that on the air that we were taking photos of, of his breakfast, but. He said, and I sat there quietly. Hold on, hold on. Another, it, it, another guy that doesn't like us just walked by. I, I know. I know. I understand. What? I understand. Oh, that one? Fucking jukebox. 
Oh, your head jukebox. I thought you were being anti-Semitic. I'm fucking sick of the dirty looks we get when people walk by our studio. Well, yeah, I really right. did think you said ju I jukebox. I know, something. Oh, I was like, what is that? Jukebox. People make their living by just fucking, you know, one song after another, and they're giving us dirty looks as they walk by the studio. I get it. I understand. <laughs> I get it. Go ahead, E-Rock. So, back to you. So, um, yeah, he, he was aware of this, and he never said not to in the past, right? So we kept, oh, I kept doing it. And um, today just set him off because he said, I've put up with this long enough. I'm tired of this. And when this segment was done, I walked back to the office. Wait, well, the picture was uh, um, uh, what? Some kind of omelet with a lot of, a lot with of ketchup. With ketchup on. A lot of ketchup. A uh, whole thing of fries that would probably, honestly, feed a family of four as a side <laughs> A side dish. <laughs> Fries and eggs? And then uh, some kind of like uh, chicken. Chicken with uh, lettuce, but with there's a, a giant blue cheese. Like the chicken and lettuce would be fine. That should be the breakfast. The chicken, the lettuce, without the big packet of cheese dressing. Whoa. All those three together. Who makes fries for breakfast, though? Like, who even exactly. find a restaurant that'll, oh, no. that'll, oh, that'll, that'll no. put on the fucking fryer in the uh, morning? Yeah, fucking fries. He's on some kind of weird diet. Hmm? Exactly. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make the look, Steve. Don't worry. E Rock. So I go. I go back to the office, and I said, I looked at Steve, and he wasn't looking at me. By the way, I, it was a good bit for the show, and that's all. I I explained this to E Rock. I go. That's all I care about in the end is a good fucking radio exactly. show. You know, I, I can't be bothered with whose fucking feelings are hurt on a given day. I want to. We all take a turn. You know, uh, under the. Boss. I want to look at the clock and see that 40 quality minutes just went by. Yeah. yeah. That to me is like, ah, we're yeah. doing our job. You know how uncomfortable I felt with my Dave Thomas theory? I, I, I fucking <laughs> ate a shit sandwich this morning. Okay, I know it was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> trying to show I'm smart by doing my Dave Thomas theory. Oh. Oof. <laughs> you don't think I heated up inside? A little, little warm? Yeah. And that's yeah. what this show's that about. Happens. I could care less if feelings are being hurt anyway you rock so i walk in he's not looking at me so i kind of pat him on the back i said hey sorry steve and he says don't fucking talk to me oh boy don't fucking look at me stay the fuck away from me that oh. he had it so i go okay is he looking in a mirror at the time <laughs> <laughs> just self-loathing <laughs> i nigh i nigh i nigh <laughs> well whatever <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see, but that's a, well, whatever. Yeah. So uh, he said all so, that so to you. So he said that, and I go, come on, Steve. And he goes, no, I'm, I'm fucking tired of this. I said, but I've been doing this for a long time, and you know that I've been doing this. And he said, I've kept my mouth shut, and I'm not going to. Not in the morning. <laughs> it, it, not <laughs> <laughs> With all that. <laughs> and he's not going to. I nigh. I nigh. I nigh. Jesus. Man. Sorry. <laughs> Continue, we rock. <laughs> and uh, he's not going to stand for this anymore. So I said, okay, okay. Wait, can I stop you for a second? Yeah. And this is the point I was making to E-Rock during the commercial. Steve's saying that to E-Rock, who ate the biggest shit sandwich of the week with that virus bit. Oh. So, d so he had no problem when you were under the bus, right? Well, Taking he, a lot of shit from a lot of people. Well, he said he felt bad, but, you know, that's, that's what I it was. Saying. But it wasn't him. No. Once it's him, then it, that's when the problem occurs. Yeah. He doesn't like to be goofed on whatsoever. He said he felt bad. He understood why I was upset. But, you know, what else was he going to do? Right, right, okay. So and, I and didn't, quite frankly. <laughs> I really didn't understand why you were upset. It was a funny bit. Yeah, we like it. It's so, like a fun, yeah, it's funny. We do like the virus bit. So Steve's really upset. So I, I go, okay, he just get the fuck away from me. So I walk out of the office. And I walk into the second office where You're, Sam is sitting. And you were still near him. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, man. I, 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 Maybe he's just super sensitive because that probe crashed into him earlier this morning. <laughs> oh, 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 I, 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 they find water or what? <laughs> I found French fry oil. <laughs> oh, man. What are you I, doing? I, 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 Jeez, man. Come on. Come on. Okay. Sorry. Where's Ozone you... when you need him? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> so he says, uh, get the fuck away from me. So I leave the office and head into Sam's office, which Steve then follows me into Sam's office. And I sit down and he continues going after me, screaming at me, saying, uh, you know, fuck me. Um, all the favors that he's done and, oh, and uh, you know, 
don't expect me to help you out with all this uh, other shit anymore. I'm tired of this stuff. You better pick a side. I know. And I'm like, pick a side. I'm trying to tell him this wasn't as bad as, as he's making this. You know, because out of everybody, I I pick on him the least, and what I do to him is is hardly really. Um, it, it really bad considering what he gets on a daily basis. What side, right? though? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. This fucking yeah, side side? being chosen. What did he mean? Yeah. Well, maybe he meant Eastern and Western <laughs> Hemisphere. <laughs> what side? Well, if he there feels... is, are, are there teams here? Uh -oh. oh come on! Uh, we all know there's teams, man. Uh -oh. Let's like. Oh, let me... no. I know that. I just want to say it. <laughs> we all secretly acknowledge that. Yeah. I mean, come on! But somehow it works. <laughs> Split right down the middle to the it. The Jets and the Sharks. <laughs> right. That's the beauty of this show. <laughs> it's pretty much split right down the middle. <laughs> but what about Steve? That's the problem. He's not on one of the He's sides. He's his own side. There's a team Anthony. There's a team Opie. But then they all. But then everyone gets along. But Steve doesn't feel like he's part of a team so it's like the whole show's on one side of a seesaw he's on the other and it's level <laughs> i know i know i know i know I, and that's just based on we just get along with uh yeah. members of the staff better than others i, don't, I don't i think i don't hate anyone on the staff I to be honest with you graphically certain things work out better i don't hate anyone perhaps if sam lived a little closer to me He'd be my little twink friend. Yay! Yeah. Instead of Opie's flunky. Oh, wow. yay! And if, you know, Danny didn't live uh, in Queens and uh, hop, skip, and a jump uh, uh, to my house, perhaps we wouldn't uh, black out uh, drunk together. <laughs> well, uh, on the there is free beer, so I'd probably make the trip. <laughs> <laughs> How many guys, for these teams? How many guys work it's, here? It, I know. I only know like three. But what like, is, but what is, I don't think that's what, even what Steve's talking about. Like, no, what, what, no. what is He's, Steve referencing? Yeah, what, what Sam's, Sam's, on, Sam's on it. Let's go. Steve thinks there's. <laughs> there's <laughs> Sam makes me sick. He's a <laughs> smarmy little dude. He really is. He put his head down like a. Well, I'm sorry to have to say this, but. <laughs> but they're meanwhile, asking. he's happy as a pig in shit to, He's to, chomping. to mix He's this chomping up. at the bit. He can't wait to get on Mix it up, you little prick. You guys are confused. You're describing the O. B team and Anthony teams. Those are the on-air teams, not yeah. the behind-the-scenes teams. Uh, the behi now there's a behind-the-scenes team, which that. is well. I mean, there's a, there's a, a documented rift between Steve and Danny. So I would well, we know that I would assume that it would be Team Steve and Team Danny. Yeah, yeah. Back there, so uh -huh. I think those were that was the team. Is Steve there members of uh, Team Steve though? Behind the scenes? <laughs> Holy shit! Is I anyone, is anyone on I Team Steve? I, I think Steve felt that Eric was a member of Team Steve, and when Eric did what he did on the air, Steve oh, felt he boy. was maybe leaning over towards Team Danny. Although, oh, since Eric also shit. hates Danny, I doubt he's right. on that team, too. So how did that happen? I don't think they hate each other that much. Steve seems no. very nice to me. What, what does he do to have this what? more? He doesn't want to be part of the maybe, farm. Maybe, I'll maybe I, I don't have to deal with it, like, because I just come here to talk yeah. shit. But So he followed you and started yelling and screaming? Sam, you saw this? Yeah. And you're saying Steve is uh, <laughs> like And you're saying yeah. Steve is way out of line. Well, Steve's the, a party pooper? There was other people that yeah. witnessed this too out in the hallway. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm saying Steve was a bit over the top. He kept yelling at Eric and said that. I Can Steve fire anybody? No. No. <laughs> is he somebody's <laughs> boss? <laughs> No. To be completely honest with you, if there's a lot of honesty today, he can't fire shit. Oh, jeez. You can't. <laughs> he's, Steve's a, Steve's a I figurehead. I thought Steve could fire people. Steve's oh, a no. figurehead. <laughs> he's my superior. What? Definitely. Yeah. Shut up. He is. He can't fire Steve anyone. can fire you? I mean. I know he can suspend you. Okay, Dan. Oh! 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 I I I He can write reports on people. No. People have to get to who Patrice to get no. to the next level boss no, no, up. No, 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 it ain't happening. Uh, here's the deal with this place. A lot of people have like fake titles, but in the end, Ant and I run the entire company. Yeah, so. we run the whole company. For real, actually, for real, yeah. no one's getting fired without so, our say. Don't make me. He go can't upstairs. fire anyone. No, I mean Opie is the main boss, so he, if, he could suggest. Hey, hey what about Opie and Anthony? Anthony? See, I mean, Opie. That was because of a team Opie. I know because he's right, team yeah. Opie. He just happened to be the one. Danny would say you're the boss. It works out. Opie was just the one speaking at the time. I hear you. If you had said that, I would have said Anthony's the main boss. So there's no worries. And is this why Steve is not here right now? 
I don't know why he hasn't. Uh, no, but while Steve was yelling at Eric, he could ju- he could suggest. I'll be fair. He could suggest a firing. But in the end, it's up to Aunt and I who gets fired. But if that's the case, everybody can suggest a firing. Of yeah. course. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And then there's no. other bosses that the are higher. The janitor can suggest a fire. Then there's he's, other bosses that are higher than Steve that think they have power. It's it's a whole joke. He's the eunuch really producer. <laughs> he's like a eunuch. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Steve said he preferred to keep his head down and remain off the air. Head down into the plate no, of fucking French fries. That's what's wrong. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know. Oh, my God. This is brutal. Why is it brutal? It's so brutal, what happens man. in every fucking workplace. I guess you're right. You're just talking about yep. it. Steve prefers to do what his job is, you yeah. know, booking guests and, and making the proper phone calls and emails, but remain off the air. Why That's do you say that with a smile, oh. Sam? I'm, I'm happy to be here. I, I'm at the Opie and Anthony show. You know, oh, it's okay. a good day for yeah, me every yeah. day. So Steve will not be joining us on the air for this discussion? I frankly, that would I drive highly Jimmy doubt nuts. It. You know, the person that would be pissed off by that the most would be Jimmy. Norton Jimmy would be losing his fucking... Furious. You tell him to get his fucking, fucking ass, ass down here. here. It's for the fucking show. It's for the show, the fucking asshole. That's what Jimmy would be saying. He'd be mm. very angry. But that's Steve's prerogative. You know, <laughs> what a little I, I'm, I'm hurt for Steve because I, I yeah I know that Steve has to think that he's higher than these guys. Yeah, you would have to feel like he thinks he can more than suggest <laughs> no. things. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if Steve no. tells me what to do, I always do it. He is superior. See, he, if, see if something happens off the air, if there's a, an argument or some discussion off yes, the air yes. that is um, you know kind of nasty. Then uh, he could write, uh, file a little report about the person. And who gets it? You? No, we, we wouldn't see. What are you? I'm going to look at a fucking report. And so no, we'd, we'd get knocked upstairs. Someone's asking about Roland because we said that no one gets fired without our approval. Roland didn't work for. No, no, he didn't work. He for worked the for show. another company that yeah, kind of he subcontract kind of strong armed uh, uh, the company CBS to to not re- you know continue with Roland. He was they a subcontractor. Way too much money. And we're still we're trying to get Roland hired here, but uh, yeah, kind of a different situation. To be honest with you, no, there have there have just been you know things. things. Oh, that's so funny. Steve said Eric was kicking him in the dick. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you're kicking me in the dick. He's like, how many times that's are you going to keep kicking me in the dick? Wow, Did because you of, because of his <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Does you know what Twitter show he works breakfast. for? No. This is easy That's stuff. That's a hilarious yeah. breakfast, though. That this really is easy is. stuff. It's a funny-ass breakfast. But something's going on deeper than this, because this is breakfast. He, That's easy. French fr- this is breakfast. Dude, when you order a yeah. watermelon, what's Chicken? the first thing we do? We make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who can get... Here's the thing. Here's the funny part. Who can get chicken, french fries, and eggs... Yeah, at in the breakfast morning. time. That's very resourceful. And it's a, it's a hilarious breakfast with blue cheese. It's a weird breakfast. It, it doesn't <laughs> yeah, really make sense. It doesn't sense. make any sense, that breakfast. He Why brings is it he so from ashamed home. of this breakfast? Why he brings it from home. Oh, he brings it yeah, from home. Yeah, it's deeper than that. Patrice is absolutely right, because we all get smashed on this show. And, oh, but these shouldn't be so hurt about this. Some, this no, is... No. It's deeper. This is some comment. type of um, posthumous breakfast that he dedicates to somebody... Look at that breakfast. ...that's not around anymore. Look, Look at that fucking breakfast. Two is, giant cheeseburgers. Look at the angry bite marks. Look at how those bite marks are like are, velociraptor. It, like, it, like a velociraptor got it. Why wouldn't, first of all, I wouldn't, every morning, here's, here's the genius of Eric right now. Every morning I would look at that and go, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Who are you, man versus food, niggas? <laughs> <laughs> I think food's winning. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, Patrice, a big guy, is laughing at all the fat jokes, God okay? Because that's all it is. Why is he upset about this? Uh, he, He's eating two hamburgers for breakfast. <laughs> There's a lot of And we're not animosity. supposed to comment about that. I believe he feels he is shat upon more than uh, yeah. more than other people. 
Steve the only, is not even close. The only shitting, I would not say. Not even close. No. I'll tell you right now. As a fan of the show. E-Rock uh-huh. gets shit on twice as much, and that's why it's so weird that uh, Steve goes after E-Rock. understand what E-Rock takes on a daily basis yes. for this as, radio show. As a person who's a, a fan, and as a person who comes through, I'm not here all the time. Yeah. But from what I think. Thank think, God. I think, uh, <laughs> and from what I understand. I'd be a silent partner by Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Eric gets fucked with a lot. Yes. yes. Sam gets fucked with none. Barely none. Well, because he, no, he postured himself. Danny barely gets fucked with. Danny he, doesn't get fucked with. And tr- uh, Travis. Travis gets fucked with because he's a blue bitch. That's not he's true. a skinny little girl but bitch. I'm saying that Danny, he's a homosexual Danny takes that a sh- married a girl just to prove that he wasn't homo, but he is, and his child isn't his. Why do you keep kicking me in the dick? <laughs> <laughs> I think I the know. only thing Steve has is the is the gay voice thing is his only. Yes. Now he has a. Uh, now he's got breakfast. <laughs> now he has food. Now he's got breakfast. <laughs> Sam doesn't get fucked with that much because he's a smarmy motherfucker who could turn it right around. Danny doesn't myself. get fucked with as much on the air because he just turns around and goes, "Go fuck yourself," and like it's the end of story. Like, hey, fuck you. And and it's over. You know what? <laughs> That's not fair. You're simplifying it. Fuck everyone, yeah, everyone, to. everyone gets fucked with. They really yeah, do. But, no, but my point is, with, my really point do. is, Steve does not get a whole lot of nothing except for yeah. the Steve voice. Right. Yes. That's it. That's funny. Gay. Okay. But now he <laughs> he he has the the gay voice. Now he's the gay voice who eats two <laughs> cheeseburgers giant fucking bites out of cheeseburgers and, and uh, here's, here's how big they are they don't fit in the thing <laughs> <laughs> no, so he, he ate them for him to fit in the thing <laughs> <laughs> he had to he had to take three gigantic bites so it fits in the fucking plastic <laughs> container <laughs> cause two won't fit one and a half fit how, he, can he, how can he be so fucking he, upset about this? When, I want to know. Can you get him? When he bought these, did he tell the guy he'll gladly pay him Tuesday for those today? I know. I know. Where's Steve, man? Can we talk to Steve, please? I, I don't make fun of this. I just want to know what's going on. Why the fuck is he yeah. so upset about Let's this? Let's get Steve in here and There's a and deeper thing. This. He can't be upset about this. <laughs> it's a giant... It's a half-eaten giant burger and a full giant burger. <laughs> yeah, giant. Steve, come on down here and explain. It was an omelet, french fries, and a chicken salad. Yeah. For breakfast. Yeah. We got to, you know, it's got to be discussed. Why wouldn't we discuss that? That he brings from home. He made two big sandwiches? <laughs> Did he make these at the house? <laughs> That he bought for breakfast? Cooking up cheeseburgers at four in the morning, <laughs> three in the morning, <laughs> putting them in tubby wear. And, and trust me, this is not, I don't a, like food this that is not much a diet. To, to cook yeah. at four in the morning. No. These are ha- If there were two hamburgers with no bun, I would say, okay, he's doing some mm-hmm. Atkins, but... I mean, I don't oh, know. I don't see... Um, the french fries fucked it up. So, E-Rock, how did it end? <clears throat> well, that was, the, uh, that was sort of the end of the first fight. Um, he, he, he left the second office and went into uh, back into our office and just wasn't talking in, at all. Mm. Then during one of the commercial breaks, I'm down here, and um, I'm talking with Sam about um, doing something for the weekend, and he goes, come here, and he pulls me away from everybody down the hallway, and you know I'm, I'm, I was pretty much told to shut up and listen while he just unloaded on me. Wow. Um, stating that... Point, uh, pointing and waving? Pointing... Uh, that little crazy psycho dead stare right through you <laughs> kind of thing just pointing i know <laughs> just oh, man yes, and, I'm, very, uh, I'm very familiar with this talk yeah yeah to the point I where he, where you know he's sweating yeah, as he's talking cuz he's really intense now oh. he's coming and oh, th- this was a different steve that, that I've seen really? on a daily basis. Oh wow! So I just I'm like okay, oh, and I sat there. They played the Darth Vader Make march sure music right the... here. Look at this. <laughs> Darth Vader. This is motherfucker. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> oh shit! Here's just so we're all abundantly clear. What I said to Eric. Um, it was yeah. You got I got my finger right in his face. Looked at him as if he was a piece of fucking hamburger that had just been ripped through. And um, ooh. I said, I'm a good guy, and I will continue to be a good guy to you until you fuck with me one too many times. Kick and then the I will. Pick. Yeah, exactly. And then I will direct <laughs> you all will, of that and good guy yes. energy to fucking with you. And then non-stop. you will suggest that something happens to him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, I'll just start doing it. No, I am a shit. vindictive motherfucker when okay. I get screwed with. But oh, how, okay, now two things. One, that's interesting. 
because I've been finding out the, the politics. I mean, you get along. Yeah, I like absolutely. I like Steve, man. I would never have a problem. Mm -hmm. But they say you only have the power of suggestion. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Basically, in, 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 in a, in a, basically, you're a, you're yeah. a magician <laughs> yeah. in here when it comes to them. So basically, what could you do to really fuck with them if you have no nothing more than suggestions? It's not so much. It's not so much fucking with them, um, like within here. You can't really do anything. You are you're completely castrated in here. Nobody has any power. Okay. Nobody has any power. But I'm the first person a lot of times that people come to and, hey, can you get me into this event? Hey, can you get uh, me tickets to this okay, event? Okay. Who hey. does that? And, and, uh, you're like fucking uh, Morgan Freeman from Shawshank. You get things, <laughs> and I'm now you're the first person that. on the phone with publicists and. Uh -huh. And, I'll get and, you a rock hammer. And and <laughs> ticket brokers and people that need free shit. I'm happily to, I'm I'm happy to do it. All of a sudden, oh, let's 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 fuck with them a little bit. The guy that gets the free shit, let's go fuck with them a little bit. But wait oh, really? a minute, Steve. Yeah. I haven't asked you for, for tickets to this week. No. When oh, when did I ask you for tickets to an event? I don't, dude. My, I, it's not. No, so you much... brought it up. Bring it. Tell me when I asked you. It's not tickets. Yeah, I've never asked for tickets. anything. What it's... do I ask you for? Uh, I know one thing, and it wasn't even for me. Uh, what? Stargate fucking box sets? No, that came from. <laughs> that came from the publicist. <laughs> now, do you hear? Do you do you hear the stuttering in Eric's voice a little bit yeah, right now? That. Yeah. It, it, you, you, you just started a little bit, dude. It's taking advantage. It's taking advantage of someone's good nature who is happy to fucking do stuff for you until, bing, there's a little needle. Dude, and I then... never do anything to you. That's the one thing that I've been doing for the longest time. And that... I know you've been doing it for the longest time. And you haven't time. said one word now, that this was a problem. Now, let's get to the real thing. Yeah, what's the Why problem? Why are that? you upset? First of all, I've seen a picture this is of yeah. your breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Two giant hamburgers. You're right. It's usually something and I didn't eat the night before. French fries, yeah. an omelet, and a chicken salad sandwich or One, something. Yeah, something like that. I don't, you know, honestly, Why are you upset that that is out there? Because I'm a fucking addict who was able to kick every other fucking thing in the, that he's been addicted to, but he hasn't been able to fucking deal with this one yet. So, for some reason, that one strikes a nerve. Because I got over it once, dropped you know a pile of weight, got fucking surgery, and then when I stopped drinking, I jumped over to this. So addiction. this is a, this is a little pity party for yourself. You can't. No, that's not a pity I party think, at all. It's I not think a pity that party that helps. All. That help the ridiculousness of this will help you in the long run. No, I'll, I'll tell you something. My my old man when I was a kid. It's said, helping me, nigga. <laughs> no, here's here's something. You got that giant hamburger. When I was a kid, <laughs> man used to tell me to my face. Uh, uh, the world does not respect fat people. If you get married, you'll never get a job. No one will ever love you. I ballooned up to 400 pounds by the time I was 23 years old. And you old. found that he... Right. So you no, lost I weight. Actually, no, actually... You, you wound up achieving everything except for the people kicking you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so, your friend, so Steve, this, this uh, fat I issue... Know. I don't know. This is... And I'm not being funny, man. Usually fat dudes... Jolly. Be, because we have the ability to be other than... Fat. I mean, I know personality-wise, you got to be a little above a notch if you're fat. Why? That's like such a... I, man, I don't want to say woman, but it's such a how women get depressed about fatness. Dudes um, get depressed about fat a little bit more dude -ish. Different. Like, you, shouldn't, you should be able to see that this is funny. Yes. Intellectually, I see it. Emotionally, I don't. So, aha! So you should really... Yeah, but the problem is E-Rock went through the same shit this week. He didn't like the bit he was involved with. Eric's a perpetual victim, unfortunately. But you're being oh, one too right now. No, I don't think so. Shit. Not at all. You're, Not being, at all. You're, how, being how a, so? you're being a victim right now. How so? How you're so? You're being a be victim victimized? because you you told us once upon a time I was a little boy who my father told me this. You asked what was behind it. I'm yes, telling you what was behind it. But that behindness that? is. And I'm not saying but you're you perpetual, asked. but you're being a, you're victimizing yourself because you're angry emotionally about this. It's not personal. This is internal. He just clicks. Up. It's not his fault that you're having this issue. No, it's not his fault that he's having this issue. He's what what he's doing is instigating. What he's doing is 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 acting as a catalyst. Now, did you know that he had this issue with with his size the no. way he does? No. It's and, now he now he does. If and he does it been, again, then, then now he does it and he'll do it twice. Yeah, as much. <laughs> now he now he does and he'll do it twice as much. Thank There's you. been times too. I've seen some of the the horrible shit that he was eating, and I'd say, Steve, you know, with, with your surgery and everything else, are you supposed to be eating the bread? Are you supposed to be doing this? No, I'm not. 
I've talked to him about this a few times. And, and that added with he knew I've been doing this for a while. Now, today, everything just fucking hit and he went off. You're mm. a victim, you rock. Mm. Apparently. So I'll defend yourself. You want a rape kit? <laughs> you could swab your ass and no. get some DNA. Victim. No, I have to. Victim. Ah, victim. Victim. <laughs> that's, that shit is His new character, victim. Vic, Vic, Vic fucking dumb. hamburger. Yeah, 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 you know Vic what? Tom. <laughs> Again, intellectually. Dumb. You're right. Vic Tom. You're right. Vic Tom. I get it. <laughs> now you're Vic Tom. He just touched the nerve. <laughs> yes. He now you're Vic Tom. And Vic you know dumb. what you do? I used to work on fucking Lansdowne Street. You know what the hardest for bitches? I used to shit. work on Lansdowne Street. Every fucking night. In Boston. Yeah. Okay. Every fucking night. Do you know what a joy it is? Boring. Oh, 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 shit. Wow. This is something Patrice can't see your hand move. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, my God. Man. That was bad, man. Oh. <laughs> Why are you reaching for your little uh, machine, uh, man? Uh, no, I want to uh, prove that. No, really. Steve, Steve's oh, opening up. Steve. It's about time he opens oh, up. Oh, so my why God, we man. Lands down street. Don't be No, it's boring. Uh, <laughs> Once upon a time. That's fun. Oh, fuck balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, I swear to God, call me why off is, air. I want to talk to you, man. Fuck that. Why? Why is E Rock hiding his face? Because he's embarrassed that he's, he's a victim. A, he's Vic Dumb. <laughs> Vic Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. Vic Dumb. Why are you laughing at that? That, that hurts. That hurts Vic E Rock. Dumb. Good. Good <laughs> but that's dumb that's what great. we're getting at. That hurts him personally. I love Vic. He doesn't dumb. want to be called Vic Dumb. <laughs> Vic <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Best name ever. <laughs> hey, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dumb. God damn it. Table's <laughs> ready. Yeah. So, Lansdowne Street. Look, I'm, I'm yeah. not even anyway, close to buttons. Um, you said you worked on Lansdowne oh, Street. I worked on Lansdowne Street, and I was, it was huge then. So, but when somebody fucks with you when you're working in that place, what can you do? You punch him in the face. As hard as you fucking can. Right. Oh. You can't do that anymore in civilized walking upright no. person society. How much weight have you gained back since the surgery? Uh, since probably, your smallest? Probably, since my smallest, about fifty pounds. Probably forty, fifty pounds. That's not a, a complete. No, it's off. not. But it's still. It's a. It's it's uh fucking. Some it, coke. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm an addict. I don't do that shit. I can't do that shit. No. My sister died of a drug overdose, so I don't do that shit. Coke in moderation? <laughs> you ever hear anybody? I do coke in moderation. <laughs> One nostril a week. Yeah, that's it. Can't nah. do that. No, um, I, I, so it was, it was now joke. with uh, my my, my inherent developed ability, obviously this is years ago, to deal with people on a confrontational level, taken away. I'm not as I'm not as witty as these guys. I'm not, you know, and I'm not. As witty as you or Oprah or Ant or Jimmy, so I really can't hold my own in here. So, but you say you you're not as witty as Eric. I'm not talking about Eric. <laughs> I just pointed it. I'm sorry, it's Patrice. Patrice. It's Vic. Yeah, Vic I'm sorry. I was, I was Patrice. I, I clearly pointed at you, Open Ant, and, and referenced Jim, who isn't here. <laughs> pitted, so pitted, so pitted. This is crazy. Man. So what is it? What, what <laughs> this is, is it fucking like? crazy? Like, <laughs> you must understand that is not a good breakfast. Absolutely. So, so why not just not have the French fries? Most, you know what? Most days I throw them out. I bring them here. I don't eat them. Yeah. I throw them out. And the fact and that I'm bringing them here. I understand his addiction, like, by the way. That's, I'm, I'm Anthony, cool. But I understand too. But but it's like <laughs> falling off the wagon. Uh, you gotta you gotta like get back on. Now there was a point. You're you're working out. You're fucking. Right. You know. You weren't. You weren't. Uh, uh, you were. Uh, you were big guy. You know, muscles and shit like that. Yeah. And then you pack on a few pounds, and then you must realize and go, "All right, I gotta do something about this." Now your I'll woman. Your woman is. She was a trainer, right? She is. She's, she's a, a well. Trainer. She's pregnant now, but she's uh, she's a she's a she's a fitness model and a female bodybuilder. So yeah. so as soon as y'all get get have the baby, mm -hmm. she's gonna you gonna She'll get be right, right back, back on and stage, you'll be yes. but you'll be right back doing her. She makes you do your she, thing, right? Um, you, truthfully, I've asked her to help me get. Get back on, get back, get my shit back together because I was didn't like the way I uh, I looked, but I've been fucking sliding like crazy. Oh. 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 Anthony Susan Waldman just I, saw a picture of uh, Steve's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Erock. Erock's a victim. That's all Vic, I. Victim. Vic. Dumb. 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 Love victim. What's up, Vic? <laughs> Victor <Vic>. Dumb. <laughs> Doctor <Dumb>. Van Dumb. <laughs> Victor Van Dumb. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Yeah. Sean Claude Van Dumb. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, no! You rock? Great. You rock comment. No. Do you feel like no. you're a victim? Today I do. Yes. Today. Why today? It's not even about you today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like earlier in the week, yeah. Uh, only you can fix yourself, Steve. Um, let's see. You do realize fat that is like a universe full of bubbles. But I'm also public, I'm also completely irrational right and crazy. Cream. All so. right, fair enough. What was that? I'm irrational and crazy. Thank you. Oh, well, I've never debated nice that clip. fact. The fact that I walk in here and 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 on multiple occasions have thought about eviscerating somebody. With my bare fucking hands. I see his eyes. I've never seen his eyes Especially like for this. a person in a leadership role. It's very healthy. Go cry in your ah, burgers. Wait a minute. Wait yeah, a minute, from don't designated Danny. wise ass over there. Hey, I'm just stating. I'm just stating the obvious in fact. No, Danny That's doesn't it. like me. So anything you 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 anything. Can this be? Oh he called him Buster. 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 Yeah. Buster. Danny's the most Buster. disrespectful Buster. shit mouth on the entire staff. So oh. hold on. Anything that he says has to be taken with chief. Yeah. Buster. Hold on there, chief. Yes. Just, hey, wait a second, champ. <laughs> Allie. Can, can this thing just ever the word be fixed? Buster? I off. You know what? You know no. what? I, I extended an olive branch a few weeks ago, and Danny uh, subsequently that? wiped his ass with what it. What was that? What I offered branch? to speak. I, I wrote you a polite email and said, you know what? It's been a while since we spoke. I think you and I should really uh, have have a conversation. Can I, be, I, don't, I don't talk to people who who, would, who almost punch me in the face dude, and try to get me fired. lucky I never so. connected and knocked your fucking no, teeth out. No, you're lucky. No. No, I'm You're not. Lucky. Dude, I I would the the reason your attitude is so shitty, I think, is because you've never had your ass properly fucking handed to you. Yeah, because that's how you solve problems with people that you yes. have disagreements with. Absolutely. You just, you, just, you, just, you just fling hard meat into their faces. Yes. That's not the way things work. No, or you take their ass and you smash them as hard as you can against the fucking wall. Steve, that's, a, that's a very unhealthy. It's an unhealthy attitude to have about 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 disputes and disagreements. Oh, it fixes them real quick. Oh, da 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 da. It Isn't fixes them no, right fucking no quick. No, 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 it doesn't fix it because Freedom. one person is Freedom. unresponsive and in a complete Freedom. fucking coma. And then Fuck you're out of a job. You're out of a job. You go to jail and no. I sue your balls off. Sue me so for who, what? So I'm who fucking wins? broke. Sue right. me for what? Right. Right. So who wins? Oh, so then who really wins? So me. keep, so keep, so keep, <laughs> so keep settling all your disputes and arguments with uh, with your big meat fists and see where that gets you. You know what, though, but Danny, as you're a, gonna be okay. <laughs> this is this is unfair, dude. The, 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 you're both playing this. The, this is wrong for you, bud. What's your problem? <laughs> it's wrong for how are you doing this. I hate them. this place. And yeah, it's wrong seriously. for how he's threatening you, but it's wrong how you're doing it. Negro. With a guy that just said he's just not going to be a witty guy with you. A Negro. Y'all should just stop, man. That's fine. Look, me, I, I know Steve for a very long time at this point. There's no way to fucking think, be friends and, and again. And to be honest, no, I don't think so because uh, there was a there was a point in time where Steve really, I, I, I feel that he really fucked me really bad, and I was really pissed, really really pissed off. And was that? ever since Do that day, do you feel like you fucked him bad? No, I, I didn't. So that was the, that was the day I took him and just threw him in the fucking garbage because I was like, oh. you know what? If, you, if that's the way you're gonna be, bro, then I don't because really he need accepts to talk absolutely to you. no responsibility for his actions. So when I had to answer for him, that's what we need. Big fight. Well, Buckaroo. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Buster. Oh, I, I made some comments about his website, and then and he didn't no, like it. So that's not. That at, is that's exactly not what it happened. At all. That is not it at all. All right, well, prove, yeah, I always well, wonder what the big well, issue well, was. Well, well, I, don't, I honestly don't remember, but there was something that I can't fucking talk about, unfortunately, because it's a matter of corporate <laughs> bullshit. But it had nothing to do with a comment you made about the website. It was something that I was questioned about regarding your behavior, and I had okay. to answer for it. It got you in sure. trouble. You thought I did it fucking deliberately. You did, because it was like a day late. <clears throat> it's nothing worse than not being able to sock a guy who's like... <laughs> Fucking and I'll tell you saying, you I'll, I'll fucking sue you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking sue you. <laughs> Do you know what fucking it's, it's rage that, that elicits? <laughs> it's nothing worse than a guy that goes, you're a fucking nothing because you want to hit me. You're in a ne in Neanderthal, fat man. Now eat your burgers. And he just wants to toss this hey. nigga through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he fucking can't. How you feel, Buster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize.
you. Well, not for nothing, but, you know, I... I this I, is so fucking annoying. Really ah! Razzle dazzle. I did, a lot of, I, did a lot of, I did a lot of stuff for Steve before this internship ever materialized. It was all pro bono stuff. I worked for his website, did some writing and stuff for him, you know, and that was very nice. And so I felt to be treated in this respect back, I felt was really fucked up, and it was just a smack in the face because he got his feelings hurt personally. No, so, that wasn't that's it. That is it, Steve. That isn't Jesus, it. This is oh my years. God, that's so wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. How could you fucking? This is amazing. <laughs> Sam just goes, oh yeah, like he puts a sad face on Sam, like, oh this is. I can't even be in the same room as. Oh, this is so upsetting <laughs> Sam, to me. Sam, Sam, Sam has, is Sam the has worst a boner that he's man. holding his Sam with his, with his, oh, with his like hands waist. Star Trek monsters that get strength from this, <laughs> yeah. like like people fighting. He gets actual strength somewhere somewhere in the sewer system of, of New York City. There's orange goo. That's bubbling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam man. is such a piece of shit. Like that that like that shit. Oh, oh, such I will, a piece I will of shit. accept that criticism. <laughs> I will accept that. How does Vic Dumb feel about it? <laughs> he, enjoyed, he enjoyed that one. <laughs> yeah. I heard him laugh. That was funny. I didn't think it would get it to be the Steve Danny thing, though, again. Because that's it always, always, it always, it it always, always is. It always is. You two uh, have a very volatile work relationship. Um, yeah. Yeah, one wants to sock the other, yeah. and the other one goes, please do, yeah, and please you're do fucking so out of here. sue you into, in, in, into even, even further bankruptcy. Steve's well, I've really got news for you, buddy. buddy. If you did, that's what buddy. I'd do. <laughs> well, good luck, how how buddy. professional is it for, for a guy who's the executive producer of the show to raise a fist to someone else? How fucking professional is that? At the time, it felt like the best thing in the world. But is it professional, Steve? I don't get, This whole ah! fucking room isn't professional. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is the least professional environment you could possibly work in. So then you're saying... That it's, uh, I bet right, you, Danny, you, went, you know what you Danny went, would go. It's like arguing. If he hit internet. him, if Steve hit Danny, Danny would go, "Oh, you did it now, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you now you now you done it, pal. Dude, I've, got, done it. I've got pissed off around this place before, and never once have I thought that a rational, uh, a rational uh, reaction would be to raise my fist to somebody. I've never once thought that that was going to be the proper road to go down in any dispute or disagreement that has ever happened. In this building or in the, in the XM building? Ever. When's the last time you had a really nasty fist fight and got your face kicked the fuck into a curb? Seriously. Did that it is ever not happen? The, dude, that is not the end all and be all no, of everything. You're not answering Fists the question. Fists do not solve problems, Steven. They, they don't. Do. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they really do. And the fact that you can't answer that question means you probably Bet never have. Between Quentin so Jackson right, I should, I and I need to Chuck Liddell and, yes. and that'll win me right into shape. Yeah, it'll he'd be fucking, better off if you got punched in the face. It'll fucking a humility that you've never fucking hit. I have been hit so fucking hard that I couldn't see straight. I don't care. Good. Well, good. <laughs> good. You know what? That, that says a monumental amount. You're indifferent and you're a fucking wise ass. No, your world is completely different than mine. My world doesn't revolve around physicalities and yours does. No, it's, it has nothing to do with that. Yes, it does. That's your whole argument. You have a massive problem with authority. You hate people who fucking even remotely ex 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 exemplify a father figure. You fucking oh, hate wow. them. Wow, no, that's, oh. dude, now, 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 now you're bringing your own things out no, to the argument. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, every fucking reaction to an authoritative decision, this guy fucking Get acts like he just phone. pissed in his corn. Get my dad on the phone. We'll talk about how much I hate my daddy and how I have daddy issues. You, are you, everybody in this fucking room has daddy issues. You have daddy I don't. issues? You want to come, no. uh, come over, daddy? I, I love that. I don't have a daddy uh, issue. My dad's dead and I fucking loved him the whole uh, time. What the fuck are you talking about? One exception. I have mommy issues. Okay. This uh, wait, is no, going mommy great. Yeah. Steve. <laughs> oh, Travis is here. Holy shit. Whoa, Travis left the other room. <laughs> the here now. Wait, wait, wait. Happening. I gotta be on Steve's side. This is attack of the nerds. Yeah. <laughs> and and Steve is ogre. And he can't. Ma what Steve does is take nerds and throws them through a window. Steve is okay. and, That's right. and steps on his fucking Terminator doll that he built. <laughs> and you're Travis and you're fucking. Travis just tagged in. No he, he, he did. This is who's at your station right now, Travis? Yeah, people. <laughs> There's a million people. Right I can't let this happen because this is about to be. It's it's Lilliput. It's like yeah. Lilliput. It's, it's, it's he's Gulliver. It's Gulliver. It's like they yeah. they now they on him with the with the I'm the gonna fucking poke you shit. What? And he can't do shit to him. What what does Travis have on this whole thing? I, I just well, want to know what he's got you know on what? him. I completely disagree with Steve. I completely agree with Danny, and I'm tired of when when Steve comes in here and he just dismisses Danny's opinion as Danny hates me. Well, okay. here I am, and I think that if you punch me in the face. Nothing would change. You would be out of a job, and I would still be here. You'd be in a I'm, coma. Uh, yeah. More <laughs> civil, <laughs> yeah, more civil suits. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, 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 punching me in the face or punching Danny in the face is not going to solve 
anything. Like you would be out of a job. Sutherland's just one of the parties. You, know you would be out of a job. And, <laughs> but and he yes, doesn't. This is the most ridiculous he's argument not ever gonna ever. Do. He's not gonna ever punch you. He doesn't think about punching you. It's that he's. His the way he is. No, he thinks punching, punching is flying. No, 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 he, but he he'll does. never Travis, do it, no, and that's he, not Travis, healthy that's for a boss to do. That's that. That's Travis not healthy. Be at, Travis would be at a station going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you fuckers! That's not healthy. I completely agree that that by an executive producer saying I'm irrational and crazy and I'll and I'll threaten to punch you in the face. That's not healthy. That's not yeah, what no one a wants boss to work should under do. Those uh, yeah. circumstances. How, how's anyone going to respect that? Why do you look and feel like Richard Dreyfus right now. Uh, <laughs> you sound, you sound like Richard Dreyfus from Jaws. <laughs> You're not gonna be, until yeah. something comes up and bites you in the ass. You got no, wait. You got any better suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the black girl body slam incident, by the way? Uh, what? Wow, just shut down the show. Holy the, no, no wow. the legal, the legal thing. <laughs> what? What? Then no, no, oh, no. no. All right. no. Is anybody? Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Before that, leave Steve alone. Which one was it? Why don't y'all apologize? What the Ralphie fuck? Ralphie May finger in the butthole. Whoa. It's in <laughs> no fucking way. No, no so fucking Danny, way. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. Nothing happened. What? Nothing can happen to make this stop. Nothing. Uh, I don't think so. Oh no. If I think that ship has sailed. I'm very sorry for that. Nothing. No, I mean, we 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 work together. We have to work together. But but, aside from that, but I'm saying not to to just be no, like this, this, cool, but, dude. This is this is. Uh, it seems like dudes just don't it's the, stay it's mad very, at each other when surface. one goes. I'm sorry. It's a very surface. Now this though. is uh, deeper than that. This has been going on for a while. It's a weird thing to Years. be around somebody like that. Years, actually. I couldn't work. I'd be like, damn, how can you come? How if I came in, if I found out like you go, if I go, you just go, I hate Patrice. Yeah. I go. I come in and I go. Oh. This motherfucker hates me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna remove myself from this yeah, situation. Yeah. Like, Steve, how are you gonna how deal can with? You be funny and fun with somebody yeah. that you. I know. Steve, how are you gonna how deal with your you own child? Are you gonna beat him up if he? No, if he doesn't not. listen. Oh, oh well, my why? God. Holy. Oh, but shit. I mean, it's a fair point. <laughs> but it's but, a, yeah, it's a, a fair point, point because by your child abuse, by, by your argument, you're saying, well, right. you know. You don't listen, so uh, my no. my reaction to that I is I'll punch so you. If you so have it you, in you no. to like work it out a different way with your own child when your my child boy, is born, why, why not? Just, why not with me? Why not with me? Absolutely different case entirely. I learned a whole. I, I, I was. Why taught, can't you bring some of those different. skills to the workplace then? And not work, I bring a lot. Of, I I I and, actually you know I like, worked on the fact that physical violence is going to get the, physical violence these guys is working the final any five percent of any any uh, uh, confrontation resolution. Okay, you try to resolve it every other way before it would ever get to that point. Obviously, <laughs> but you so. The fact that so you're getting close to punching someone because everything else isn't working. He's at ninety four. No, it's just four. Yeah, and realize yeah. that some battles aren't worth fighting. Everybody piling on. He's getting close to coming in yeah. with a, with a, with three cheeseburgers. He's gonna sit down. <laughs> And he's gonna fucking just light this studio up <laughs> with some fucking five one one. You know what I'm saying? If you if if he's starting to feel a little bit piled on, because because yeah. here it comes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you really got to fix this. So the way Patrice is seeing it, it's everyone else's fault except. And it's Steve. a bunch of look it. I, I'm I'm on both sides because I've I've learned that way. But it's really difficult when you're a, physically a big dude. Mm -hmm. And dudes approach you with not fuck the fact that everybody can't fight or whatever. But dudes understand dudes. It's like you can't just be a dude and one not accept the motherfucker's apology if he apologizes. Now I'm not saying that he did that he did, but fuck that. If I go, man, I'm sorry. You have to go, man. I, you gotta ex em ex somehow embrace that. Two, the idea of not fighting. It, it's just dudes. We think about that. That's how we roll. Is you? We might fight, and to and for other dudes to go, I'll sue you, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. It just ain't cool as dudes. This is non-dude shit. To to Eric and everybody and Sam's out of it because Sam's just just that kind of witty, I guess. But the motherfucker, I understand what he's saying. I understand what they're saying. But this ain't dude shit. That's the yeah. thing, man. You can't be friends or around each other talking about, I'm going to sue you there. That's I'm bitches, man. He's not but, my friend. But you are, though, because no, you're not. hurt. Coworker. I was, hurt. I was hurt two years ago. I don't but give a that, shit you, But see, you do because you're not over it. That's what I'm I mean. Over it. You're not over it because you're not. You won't embrace. No, no, because it's like being friends so, again. No, 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 that no. was one. That was one thing two years ago. There's a million things every day.
There's a million Free things enough. every day. It's well, like it's, fair enough, man. It's like people that aren't That's friends fair. but have to work together, uh, not liking each other. Then you don't. So how do they you, work you together? Can you, what's the example oh. of you working together? Working together. Steve and Danny. Sam runs to the mic. Old instigator Sam. You have to understand. There's two. You see, we have two offices here. Danny's in one office. Steve's in the other office. They don't mix. There's no talking. There's no communication. So what's the work? When do they connect as workers? They don't. You're watching it. I mean, this even, it right even the paperwork. Like, when does when does it is it three degrees of separation from them where they where no. these two have to collaborate well, to make this show There's never a time on. where paperwork transmits from his office to our office. Like, everything is very so self-contained. No, we do not no, work You just dudes that exist in Sometimes the same space. He'll tell me that, like, the guest has arrived and, and that's that. We'll have a staff meeting once a week with all the staff and the bosses. Steve will say what he's been doing. That's news to Danny because they don't communicate whatsoever, mm. oh. which might be better. It's not so much that <laughs> so there's no communication. <laughs> so they're not co-workers. They Steve, just both get paid by Sirius XM and yeah, yeah, go home. Yeah, Steve will go through me to tell Danny something. It's like a sitcom. And then he'll but not anymore, tell, but then he'll tell me that, that we don't communicate. Soon right. too. And well, then I'll come up. I'll come up. Travis, like when, when I need to get uh, Danny's attention. Let like, me ask you a question, Steve. Seriously. Oh, a serious Steve. question. Yes. Uh, when Oprah wasn't in the other day, okay, why would you uh, hand CDs to everybody else but me? Because they were on this side of the room and closer to get to. Oh, oh. no, no, no well, don't okay. be like that. Okay. You didn't do it on purpose. Well, then when have you ever handed Danny a CD when he's sitting here? I stopped doing it, I don't know how many years ago. So then why would you do it? It was, when it, was it was calculated and deliberate and just just oh, admit yeah. the fact that you would rather not communicate with me. Um correct. Fine. That's that's fine. So right. that's, that's Steve's it. not defending himself well. Yeah. I think that he doesn't <laughs> Give Danny the CDs. Well, then don't tell me that I don't communicate at my review uh, next. Well, but you know, it's also you know what? Also, it's also I I hand something to Where's Danny Rick and I get the the, the 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 Danny <laughs> eye roll whatever. The Danny eye roll yeah, whatever. That's what Steve's yeah, issue thank you. is. Well, Steve, I, dude, he thinks that you don't give him stuff. Wait, wait, what? If I Steve thinks that if he hands you stuff, it won't get to Opie. When have That's, I ever not? What what has never? What has I never? Don't know. I don't not know made it in. Like I've I don't never, understand what no, I, sabotage. Yeah, wow, I never that's saw. A, that's a, this is fucking a. I never saw. This is a movie. Yeah, I never saw. James Bond shit. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, sabotage. And that's, you think what I'm thinking? Insane. Ten second rant Stiff time. Drink. Oh, and we should all smile now. <laughs> ten second tirade. Tirade. It's a ten second tirade. I think Steve and Danny should each get one, and then smile at each other afterwards. Oh, you want to no? Do that, because Danny? there won't be a smile if they want, so it won't count. Oh, oh okay. So they don't play along with the ten second tirade. Nope. Do Not it, baby. One. They doing it. No. Nope. Danny nope. could smile, and he could look at the teeth you're going to knock out. <laughs> 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 oh, Steve is just that. The, the lack of physicality that Steve can't have right now. It's got to be frustrating I as hell. I think he would if he could choke Danny. He would then, oh, even yeah. if Danny hated him, he'd be like, dude, I'm sorry, every day, just to get it that look, fucking energy out. It would out. look like the beginning of No Country for Old Men with, with the cop on oh, the floor. Just, <laughs> like, Danny would be kicking and, and he's just looking straight up in the air. On the floor, and Steve would just be like, and just fucking choking the shit out of him. <laughs> and then Steve, he'd go along to everybody else Steve, and put that bolt through our heads. Hey, Danny, what's the, what's the most, you never lost anything in a coin toss, have you? <laughs> 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 Vic, you got anything, Vic? Vic Dumb. No, oh, I'm not allowed. Vic, Vic Dumb. You're I'm not allowed, allowed to uh, talk to Steve until I can figure out a way to properly apologize to him. Oh, oh. shit. Have you thought about it yet? Yeah. No, not yet. Well, you go home and think about Are it, you young man. Think about it? He's dumb. He wants it's <laughs> Vic Dumb. He's going to go home and think about something like fucking cotton both, candy both and guys have a, have a point, man. I, I, Wait, is he rocking? Like Are you going to apologize to Steve? Oh, man. Yeah, I'll think about it. Hmm. I don't, Who side you on? I don't see it happening. Who side am I on? Why would you, I'm on the side of me getting into my fucking truck and going home to my lovely house. I'm on the side of them. Stiff drink. Cutting the copy that they have. Who side you on? Who 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 you think should apologize? Ah, uh, well, first E Rock should apologize to Steve. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. <laughs> I thought about getting him an apology Steve. gift, but if I put cheeseburgers down on his desk, I thought he would get upset. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I, I am biased because I've had uh, a personal run-ins with uh, Steven uh, behind the scenes, things that don't want to discuss. Which makes you believe but, in but the... That, no, 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 it's just, it's just I have a hard time being sick each mm -hmm. other. We work together. We, we, we were very good friends, uh, like at NEW and stuff like that, but things just happen. Things happen. We'll just say that. And Danny is a you know, very close friend of mine. Um, so I'm a little biased, so I can't really 
I think, okay. This is a preponderance of the evidence. No, this, I, is, this is crazy because it, it's just, it makes Patrice. Steve look bad. No, Steve, no, I'm not trying to make Steve look bad. I'm just saying what he the loses, He just loses friends. Here's the problem. Steve has a major problem because the, the, the staff doesn't like him or respect him. And I don't know how it got to this point, but Steve's got a major problem. You got a I major problem. Gone, I have sat down each member of this so staff. So you did something because these guys don't like you. Oh, it is a rise up right here. I and and I guess you don't have to like. They'd, fr they'd frag you if it was Vietnam. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> and I guess and you don't have to like the guy that you know. Sergeant Barnes, baby. <laughs> and you but, don't have to like the guy that's higher than you in in the hierarchy of a fucking workplace. But it, it goes way deeper than that. Steve, Steve, Steve was in the liars. Now if we if we left this room now and he locked the door, Steve would sit him all down deaf. Now, what you all know about that? <laughs> <laughs> He'd kill him. That's that's my honesty right there. Steve's got a major issue with these well, guys. Well, you know what? To my face, goes way they past will, they the workplace fucking... Yeah, I know. You love stunt brain. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on, peace to me. Like, if it, if it was Take one... swing at me. If it was one guy, then okay. But it seems like <laughs> these Remember guys are in agreement. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then everybody lies. <laughs> Remember that scene? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fucking up the machine. When the machine <laughs> breaks down, we, we break, break down. down. And I ain't gonna let that happen, boy. <laughs> now go ahead, y'all low, y'all low, Steve. <laughs> 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 go ahead. I don't know, Steve. I I'm got here, a fair fellas. feeling about I'm this. I'm here, one. fellas. Kill me. So what Kill do you, me. So what do you say, Bob? Uh, get the day off. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this Friday. I got a bad feeling about this one. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of here. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make. We all gotta die sometime, Travis. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking Steve wants to put a hole in somebody's ass. He's been shit on six times and he's still here. <laughs> you can't shit on Steve. <laughs> let's and let's have uh, let's have Sam talk for the group. Uh, Sam, Sam, because oh, Danny comes from a, a place where we're not sure where he's coming from. Yeah, technically, E Rock is too much of a pussy to speak up. He's a victim. <laughs> he's a victim. What are you, homosexual? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, talk for the group. What do you need to know? About Steve, the work environment, who's wrong, who's right. The relationship between Steve and the majority of the staff has undeniably been severed. <laughs> Wait, start over. Wait a minute. Could you start over? What? That's a direct this is, contradiction. This music playing right now is the greatest yeah, backdrop for this that ever lived. See, we don't yeah. need Travis because he didn't pick this one. Oh, my God. That's how the Steve laughs. <laughs> I don't know. I just be, I feel bad about this, brothers. <laughs> I just feel bad. Feel bad. What are you a crusader, Travis? Yeah, we got ourselves a crusader. We got ourselves a crusader. Look at this lump of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I conquer down, Travis. I conquer down. I I catch you taking a picture of Steve's breakfast one more time. I swear to God, you're gonna get a goddamn ticket out of here in a body bag. I shit you not. I shit you not. Bag and tag this piece of shit. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! This music. Oh, it's perfect. It's just, perfect. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sam. This music no, is Sam, beautiful. Yeah, wrap, wrap us up. Yeah, with Sam will uh, put it all together. Here. Perspective. I think start over because now we're okay. <laughs> the relationship between Steve and the majority of the staff, not no, the could entire. Just start, dear Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> the relationship between <laughs> the, and the majority of the staff has been undeniably severed, as evidenced today. Uh, to Steve's credit, the last time Steve had a big thing on the air with all of us against him. He reached out to all of us. Get me he, a medic. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Get me a medic. And he talked to all of us. Okay, do it. Uh, yes. Do it, boy. <laughs> do it, boy. Give me a medic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> do it. 
<laughs> I can't stop. It's just such a great fucking movie. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Shut it's that. a lovely fucking war. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, uh, since that time, I have had no issues with Steve at all. Yeah. And our relationship is fine. Yeah. Our working relationship is totally cool. I see. Uh, Eric did some things today that got under Steve's skin. However, I think, and if pressed, Steve would probably admit that his major yelling at Eric was due to frustrations that maybe Danny and maybe also Travis what? had built up in Steve. I can't listen to nothing but just nah, music. Nah, <laughs> they took out on Eric. <laughs> I can't listen to but shit. But how but long ago right have now. they, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? How long ago have they frustrated Steve to where he would No, that's, well, that's not accurate. I, I, I'll admit been it frustrating was, Steve. Hang on. Danny has been frustrating Steve for two years. Two years, at least. Their, their relationship will never Closer be fixed three. whatsoever. We gotta <laughs> settle this now! I and remember they're not. It's happened back at NEW. They ripped us the fuck apart. <laughs> and I personally... Can you just do this jumping up and down <laughs> on one leg and laughing? <laughs> <laughs> this music makes everything sad. It's just... <laughs> it's fucking terrible. This, this music is fucking... The it really worst. is. Adagio is the worst. It's the saddest music ever made. I can't... I want to laugh. <laughs> Look at Steve's face. Yeah. <laughs> With this music. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, Sam. I think Steve's issues with Danny primarily played a part in what he took out on Eric, and I think that when he says "pick a side," as Eric said, he said, "I don't know if he said yeah. it or not," but if oh, he, he said, said "pick," it. if he said "pick a side," I think he believes that the team that's opposing him is Danny and Travis E-Rock, since they're such e- good E-Rock friends. Iraq is the son of born of those two fathers. <laughs> <laughs> As, <laughs> as Ma says, for a battle of your soul. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, just, uh, holy shit. Uh, a do- it, 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 it's just, and that's it? This uh, is it. I mean, the, yeah. the issue here, the primary issue, yeah. even with the Eric thing, all of the issue is between Steve and Danny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think. I, maybe you disagree. Well, Stephen, to, to make a, a statement, just backing up a few that that the that the, my relationship with the entire staff has been severed. I think that's completely incorrect. Majority. I've I've reached out to everybody, and everybody to my face or over the phone said I got no problem with you, and that was I don't what two months ago. Yes, two months ago. So since then, I don't know. Well, but what? that's the thing. You said that's when you reached out to Danny and he didn't respond. Yes. I said I have no problem with yeah. you and I just said... So one person through the whole staff. studio. No, I said Travis. it too. It's Danny. <laughs> what? I said it to you too. What? To your face. What? When you came into me right after this whole incident, like, what is your fucking problem with me? I told you some of the issues I had with you. I said, overall, I don't like fucking hate you as you assumed everyone else here does so Eric, and i told Eric, you that to your Eric face doesn't have a problem with you he just thinks your breakfasts are funny yes i understand that danny has a problem with you yes i understand that and you have a problem with danny yes i don't understand why we don't all hate sam how does why he would skate? You hate because sam? He's, he's the yeah, 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 how the fuck does he skate how does that work <laughs> Wait, what'd you say <laughs> what did he say He's Colonel Car- like he has his own island and like yeah. you know all, yeah. all his people and apocalypse now. Yeah, well he knows when you know he he decides whose heads get severed and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but it's, everybody's it's, everybody's afraid to confront him. It, it's weird. He uh, we all should hate Sam. I'm Why really, would anybody hate Sam? I think that's what would solve this problem. <laughs> that's not a good solution. Nobody should hate Sam. I've never done anything to anybody. Let's be honest here. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, no! Now we've, we've changed yes, movies. Yes, now we're, we're, on, we're, we're on, on to a, what's now a redo. Yeah, we're on to another movie. <laughs> All right, how we does really it need to just wrap up? It's getting yeah, late. Yeah, it's getting very late. <laughs> because Sirius the thing, XM. We'll reach I a... can't believe I'm still at Sirius <laughs> XM. <laughs> <laughs> we could reach a resolution today. Yeah. How? But in two months, I'm just saying, some people could apologize and everything. We could say, okay, everyone's fine. Bubble Within Google. the next two to four months, something will be done. Steve will get pissed off, and it will result in, regardless of who is at fault, Steve and Danny arguing, because that's where the real problem lies. Let's oh. be honest with each other. Here. So if they solve their issue... Which they won't, ever. Everything is much better. But they would, I mean, they're just... They need to just separate from each other and not 
worry about each other. Yeah. When Danny says he's over Steve, mm -hmm. then don't give Steve a second thought. And Steve should not give Danny a second thought. Just act as islands amongst each other. Travis and me, I, I, I hope I can we be on your eyes. Yeah, but you still have <laughs> hostility towards Steve. Well, I'm not going to magically like somebody. <laughs> no, there's a difference between... There's three things here. There's liking, not liking, and having them out of your system. And emotionally, <clears throat> right, you're not... He's that's not what I'm indifferent. Saying. You, you're exactly, you're not indifferent. You do have some dislike. Some dislike. You have pain there. You dislike Steve. Well, you don't because not I still care. have to. We still have to function on a daily basis. You so. don't. No, we do because I still have to show up, and and he has to show up, and we have to we have to cross paths eventually. So we're gonna have to build a, a new staff here. Yeah, not start. a whole new staff. We're just, gonna have I to mean, start from scratch. No, oh, you don't need to fire everybody for the third time. For the third time, we're gonna have to start from scratch. There's no reason. I You've mean, done it before. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> but Steve has you been in the show. Any yeah, Sam, I've watched these? this happen. Every, everyone's gone except for those two. Some of us are fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, except for which two? Uh, open it. Oh, yeah. some of us are fine. Uh, back to basics. Yeah. Some of us don't have any Let's issues. Go back to basics. Me and you, kid. That's set. Well, I mean, some people. Nah, we don't need you. Just stick around and yeah. Yeah, Sam, I, I've, I've, I've been around for 11 years. The old staff years. thought they needed us. You, you call me throw I think we made that Sam. obvious. Great. I've been around. What's wrong? What happened, Danny? What's no, wrong? nothing. We should just end the show. Fucking Steve Why end just this? makes Danny Wait, sick. Vic has, Vic has something. Vic? Well, Vic Dumb. With <laughs> it's Vic Dumb, uh, everybody. That name has been taken on Twitter and every oh, message board, by the way. Vic Dumb. It's over. Thank you. Well, if this is the source of all the conflict... You. And no, not me. Yes, the, the Danny Steve stuff here. If this is the source of Steve's ag Steve's aggravation, then his blow up today, I think Steve owes me an apology. I, oh, I agree. With that's that. shit. That's fair. Based on what because yeah, Rock was just trying to keep it fun. Who's in charge here? I don't know, man. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Jesus. I no think Rock was trying to keep it. E Rock. Keep it fun. So and, you're and what this so show is all so about. Just, I think Eric me... was under the assumption that we worked on a comedy show. Whoa. No, that's that, 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 that's not the get out of jail free card. It's not. Yes, yeah, the... it is. We worked no. on a comedy show, no. and you're the only one who can't take a joke. Feels good to laugh. I, got, I just, I just, got the, I just, <laughs> I just pulled the tooth the size of a shot glass out the hull of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fellas, let's be reasonable here. <laughs> My boy was in that studio, too. <laughs> you want to cut Steve open and see how many cheeseburgers are inside? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll not stand by. I'm just saying. I'm I just say saying. It. I didn't say I didn't say it. It could have been Eric. Steve, <laughs> I'm just saying. The bite wounds on that hamburger. <laughs> Look, the bite. Yeah, Let's be reasonable here. This is not the time or place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on an executive producer. <laughs> and I, for one, am not going to stay in this studio while we cut Steve open and watch those French fry spill out all over the carpet. <laughs> we changed movies again. <laughs> What's going on? I heard that there were some french fries <laughs> eaten in this table yesterday. Well, and you knew about it. I uh, just want to say that uh, uh, Danny and Steve were in the studio at some point and some feelings were hurt. But everything is fine now and this studio will stay open. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve, hey man, it's too late now. You're the mayor. You're the mayor of Burger Island. <laughs> Can you, sing, can you sing that lullaby for everyone, Ed? How's it going, Ed? Yeah. Oh, Do dude. you know the Burger Man? The Burger Man, the Burger Man. Do you know the Burger Man? Wow. <laughs> So E Rock should get an apology because we do work on a comedy show, and I think E Rock was trying just to kind of bring some material to the show. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> you know, me. E -Rock, you know what I do for a living. <laughs> I'm not talking about hooking bluegills or tommy cats. I'm talking about Steve. <laughs> <laughs> talking about working for a living. Steve, man, stop it, man. Stop what about it, uh, Cage goes on, into man. the water? Yeah. Uh, this uh, is crazy. Uh, Cage goes into the water. You go into the cage. 
Burgers in the cage, <laughs> Steve's in the water. Hi, <laughs> uh, Steve. Farewell and adieu <laughs> to the Spanish lady. Farewell and adieu, you lady. <laughs> I'll show you this scar on my chin where Steve got mad and punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> show me the way to go home. <laughs> scar on my tired. fingers when I try to take away his burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get the E-Rock Steve relationship back together. So the E-Rock Steve relationship can be mended. Well, a little apology during... that would be nice. A mutual apology. Ain't you watching it, Carlisi? <laughs> <laughs> Steve oh. can't stay down with three barrels. In him. <laughs> Not with three barrels. <laughs> Ah, shit. Eric, do you feel you did anything wrong today? No, I do not. What? Well, that, no, there, see, that's where we're at. We're I'll at apologize impasse. for you having awful breakfast. That's about <laughs> it. Oh, well, shit. Well, then I'm not apologizing for my overreaction. Now, Steve, you should apologize because you're sorry, not because Eric feels a certain way. <laughs> How I many burgers that's... did he eat? 20. 25. <laughs> <laughs> All three tons of them. <laughs> I nine. I nine. Hey Steve, I think look. What do you think, Hey, Eric. Smile, you son of a burger. I think you're gonna get this little needle through that flame shirt. Not that you're sorry for what you did, but there's a court term called intent versus impact. You didn't intend to do nothing fucked up, but something fucked up happened, and you can apologize for the fucked upness that happened. Oh. You understand? You don't have to That's apologize fair. for your intentions, but the fact that you hurt his feelings, you can say, I apologize. For a harmless, ongoing bit that he was well aware of for the last several months, that just, it was sort of an inside joke to the show that got brought again on air, and he couldn't handle it. It's not an inside fair, joke if you're, enough, if you're I mean, tweeting it yeah, to Yeah, thank a, you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it's not an inside joke if you're publicizing <laughs> it. I just want to put that and, out there. And Steve, to be fair A very to large him, inside joke. Arena, right? you, you know that you, as a dude, I respect your dudeness, but you got emotional, man. And yeah. you, you got over emotional. I can apologize and you for... you should apologize for the, for the fact of how it got taken and not where it came from. I can apologize for overreacting if he can apologize for hurting my feelings. See, this is tit for tat. It's not... Go. Somebody got to be a man about this shit. The burger has been bitten in two in the middle. <laughs> the bun is uh, partially uh, eaten. <laughs> this was not a boating accident. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bear attack. <laughs> Fries in the basket. Basket goes in oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I can't think of this. That's a good one. Oh, Funniest listeners in radio right there. Oh, and Booby. Well. Booby man. Booby man. I think we're going to need a bigger bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know. I know. I need a bigger bun. Oh, Lord have mercy, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like a, this is terrible. Basket goes in the fries go in the basket. <laughs> basket goes in the in the fryer. Fry later. Farewell <laughs> and I do <laughs> you fast, Spanish lady. <laughs> ah. oh, All right, he rock, no apologies. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. This is oh, this is not no, good, no. man. Oh no. Oh, you can we start it there. Yeah. Eric, if you can apologize for hurting my feelings, feeling, I can apologize for overreacting. Feeling could start. Overreacting and, and threatening me with work oh, shit and you know. Man. Being physical and all that fuck. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't threaten you with physicality. Dude, over a lousy joke that's been going on yeah, just for give, several months. Just give Mayor McCheese uh, an apology so we can go home. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, no. I <laughs> Did that hurt your feelings? Oh, I <laughs> Maybe I'll give an apology. Mayor McCheese. This is terrible. This is terrible, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what? What happened? Did I interrupt the... Ronnie, help us out! <laughs> help us out! I look at Ron's just Ronnie. like, I got here early today, uh, 10 after. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie got here early and everything. Ronnie, help us out. Thanks for the late lunch, boys. I really appreciate <laughs> it. No we, we need some Me. wisdom. We're, the, whole, the whole place is falling place apart, is coming Ronnie. apart at the seams, and you're pretty uh, used to this shit while on your show. You've well, seen yeah. this happening for yeah. many years. So. Well, all I know is yesterday... Steve told me that Danny's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that there's a picture of Danny on the internet blowing some other guy. So I don't know if that helps. I hope it does. 
<laughs> yeah, that helped out. No. <laughs> Thanks, Patrice. Oh, really. uh, Jesus Christ. It's good to see you. We're, uh, we're imploding here. Yeah, well. This is the day. Uh, the this is the day is you've been expecting. Now. The beauty of it is the show failed years ago. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking reason to still do this <laughs> for any of us. <laughs> this has got to be some kind of limbo, doesn't it? Where yeah, we yeah, all live yeah. now? Like we didn't know that we died? Yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> the fucking plane went down. <laughs> we blew it a long time ago. What are we do? oh, We're all doing? still sitting here with microphones. Because <laughs> they're not haunted. Yeah. God, is that true? We're still here with microphones and this fucking... I don't even know how this is broadcast. Yeah. We're just in limbo. Holy shit. And everybody's just fighting with each other. At each other's throats for no fucking reason. Well, you know, yesterday... Um, What's his name? Well, Cross comes to me. Uh, and he yeah, goes, yeah. We've got a problem. Uh, you've got Ed, Ed Begley booked, and so do O and A. And I go, No problem. Cancel him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, like we got a battle over who's going to get Ed Begley Jr. Yeah, right. So now I don't have to take 10 minutes and pretend that Ed Begley Jr. is fucking interesting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. And this yeah, should be great here. here, right? This should be fucking this great. This should be gravy. Yeah. Just nothing. Oh, sorry, Steve. Should be. I shouldn't use the word gravy. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, it should be the easiest gig ever. We just yeah. come in. In. I don't think anyone knows what the fuck we're doing. No, I don't no think one cares. Know if we're even here. No, occasionally people go, "You guys are great." Yeah, really. Yeah. Tell me yeah, one yeah. great thing we did. Just uh, tell me one. Uh, it's just the, the <laughs> atmosphere, yeah. the you know, the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, the is chemistry great. is just. People in the halls are talking. You know something? <laughs> yeah, we get that so too. fucking uh, what? The past week has probably been the best week of shows you guys have ever done. <laughs> yeah. We're on vacation <laughs> last week. It's from NEW. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? So this is it. You guys are done now. Yeah, yeah I think I we're think gonna so. finish up. I mean uh, everything. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, I close it down. This, this is a rift. This is a good just, place to leave it. Yeah, there's a rift here I don't think is curable. And um, speaking of curable, what about uh, your partner there, uh, Fe Fe Frederica? Is he back today? <laughs> yeah, he's he back. Uh, it is, uh, I'll just tell you this. We walked in and the receptionist looked so freaked when she saw him because of the fucking tube. And uh, there's a strap hanging out of the side of his fucking hair. <laughs> like a chin strap. Because <laughs> his head is shaved. He's, wearing, he's got the worst toupee. Ever on yeah. his head, they're forcing him to wear it. Poor, poor Fezzi. Yeah. Only to uh, freak out everybody who works here. To freak here. out everybody, yeah. yeah. It's, it's and brilliant. And there, there's this it's, it's brilliant. I was online last night uh, seeing how much those horn implants cost. <laughs> <laughs> he put two fucking horns on his head. That would rule. <laughs> uh, but he's back in today. Yeah, he's back. All right, he's good. got his ulcers. He's it. got his polyps. Heard about all kinds uh, of stuff. What AIDS? You? They found they a little bit of AIDS <laughs> in there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> They uh, snaked all kinds of cameras in him, and apparently there's like stalagmites and they find some shit in him. Yeah, they found plenty of stuff. Like all what? kinds of things. Uh, they got three ulcers, a couple of polyps, Aton pates, and a couple of spots. <laughs> we don't like to look at those. We're going to take some tests. Oh, oh shit. shit! Yeah, can that you imagine good. the heat on have, the Ronnie Fez show? Say, have Fezzi. fun with that, Ronnie. Yeah, have Fezzi fun with that dying. One. Fuck. That fucking. I'll milk that for oh, fucking wow. nine months right after the funeral. <laughs> right. I lost my best friend yesterday. <laughs> Big funeral at the Hard Rock. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Johnny's already booking a date. It's, it's Can I do it. funerals as well as weddings? <laughs> yeah. Maybe my sister will do the. That'd be funerals. perfect. Yeah, that'll be good. Not a dry eye in the house. She'll be smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're all here for fat. He would have liked it this way. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah, rock, rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> All right, we should get out of here. Yeah, let's uh, let these guys let's actually guys uh, at least do an hour. Something. We don't care. Take yeah, all the time you need. I know. Believe me. That's what we figured. I could tell by listening. We kind of figured that. <laughs> when people are yelling and screaming at us. I'm like, I don't think Ronnie cares. I don't care. Yeah. I don't They're care like, about you. Here, I, I like Ronnie. to say I, I don't care about you, the listener. That's where I am right now. That's exactly the way we feel. That's fantastic. So we got nothing done, even though we did an extra hour for everybody. I think a lot got settled. Really? Oh, yeah. It's we good got to have to, it in the open. We finally. got to get out three fantastic movie lines, like <laughs> <laughs> lines from three fantastic movies with the music and everything. Yeah, it's it great. Yeah. It's a great time. We're gonna. I'm gonna listen to the replay. Well, I'm, a fan, of the, I'm, this I'm a fan of the last hour of this show. Listen to the replay while you're doing the compound show. Just be sitting there. I'll do that. I'll be do perfect. That. People can watch me <laughs> listening to the replay of the show. 
Fantastic. All right, Patrice, uh, pleasure. DC Improv next weekend, yes. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Thank you, sir. And that's it, I guess. Yes. Ron and Fez, of Let's course, Ron are next. Ron and Fez. We're going to start our weekends. And we're not doing any live uh, reads because we... We have to go home now. We could do those um, Monday. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Them. I'll do them from my truck. Yeah, that's. I'll good. call up from my truck. Yeah, and uh, do it. All right, on the expressway. All right, we'll see you guys Monday.